Let's do it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Dr. Science, and I'm joined with the uh, number one super auto pets player in North America, J.M. Cross. <laughs> How's it going, man? You know, I didn't want to flex too hard on him, but guys, mm -hmm. I'm telling you, my cassowary builds are next level. But yeah, we're, we're today, we're looking at a game that I'm not actually good at here. That's my, my <laughs> dirty secret. That's yeah, funny because I there. just saw your video about my glorious return to competitive Tatsunoko versus Capcom. I might suggested <laughs> before starting up. Listen, it was uh, <laughs> it was something. I wouldn't say it was glorious. It was, it was definitely a return, though. Yeah, for sure. Well, we're here with Tatsunoko versus Capcom today. This is boot camp. We're getting ready for Combo Breaker, and we already have our first match up and ready to go in uh, in sort of violation of tradition. Everything's getting started smoothly here. Shush, um. what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, against all odds, we actually seem to not be having any technical issues, but we're, we're just going to jinx it. What is with you guys? What are you doing? <laughs> we're, we just like to jinx it. You know, it, it, it's, sure not, it's, not, longer, you know? It, it's not really a tournament if we don't have some issues later, but for now... Yeah, we're going to be getting in there with Poco and Marvel Matt. Poco is, uh, and I think these are uh, button check teams here. Um, Poco is a, a Chicago local here, uh, kind of a newer player to the game, but uh, learning some stuff. Marvel Matt, similarly, someone who picked up the game more recently, but uh, already is one of our best uh, Mega Man Volnut players for Lobby Nights. So let's see if uh, we can we can see something a little cool here. Yeah. It's Volna, I think a lot of people do consider him to be very strong, potentially mm -hmm. top tier, but it's not a character that we see too much. It's a very complex character. He works mm -hmm. kind of, he was like a prototype for uh, Amaterasu for, for Marvel mm -hmm. 3, where you have the weapon switch mechanic going on. A lot of ways it works similar, but he can also weapon switch with a forward or a backward movement, so it makes it even a little more uh, tricky. Right, he's kind of mm -hmm. got like a, like a second air dash when he yeah. switches weapons. A second air dash, and then a third one, and then a fourth one. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Poco, meanwhile, getting in there with Duranjo Volnut. Okay, uh, Volnut versus Volnut action. Yeah, I know Poco had played Yatter 2 there in the past, but uh, this will be pretty cool. Let's see uh, Let's see how this goes. Yeah, Duranjo, another character that, you know, is generally considered strong, but you don't see a ton. She does require a certain level of precision yeah. to keep people off of you. And Duranjo, a character, very nice. Oh, doesn't get the conversion, though. Duranjo is a character who people have picked up a lot in recent years. I think her her stock has sort of risen. She's got really good mix-ups, really great uh, neutral presence, um, an ability to, to chase people down. Um, but kind of low damage. It's kind of always her problem. Speaking of low damage, you know, Morgan, not able to do too much, but her mix-up potential, very strong with the instant overheads off the air dash. There we go. Yeah, especially once she gets you to the corner. Um, she doesn't have like big corner combos or everything, but she's got very nasty loops that lead into Ooh. guaranteed 50-50s every single time. Nice voice that was, character. It was a nice little burst bait, but not really able to get anything off it. And it looks like Duranjo close to going down here. Ooh, DP. Nice to go for the DP on the Oh, that is a level three counter. Or, yeah. Or, no, we level one counter. Sorry about that. I had a, I had a senior moment. <laughs> oh, yeah, the assist. Bad doctor. Beating the ca oh okay we can see the sh movement the sh movement is coming into play I actually love Volnut's wave Here it dash. Is. I, I There's the he overhead. Like oh, oh, almost had the link combo as well. Shout out to also. Low. Shout out to Volnut having like an alternate block animation as well, just to mm -hmm. you know just to flex that they uh, don't mind putting extra animations in the game. Oh, look at this. Three through the Buster Super. Usually that's a really safe. Uh, thing for Volnut, he's almost at any time. The startup is invincible, pushes them full screen, gives you advantage because it's a project projectile. But Morgan ready with the level three on wake up to go straight through it. And uh, Marvel Matt takes game one without even having to bring out the Volnut. Pretty convincing performance. So like you mm -hmm. were saying, kind of a, uh, a newer school player, but looking very strong here so far. Yeah, definitely. You Marvel think maybe Matt's those, uh, the Marvel fundamentals <laughs> could be applying even in in an anime game such There's as. There's no fundamentals in Marvel. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> All right, getting back in there. Oh, okay, little we'll cross up with the Volnut. Actually, starting with Volnut at this time. Yeah, we can see some of the issues that Duranjo can have with combos. You know, you you, you really have to be 
in the right position and know all of oh your my different god, conversions. that cross up off the buster? Oh, Ooh, going for a schmix. Tried to go for an unblockable there too afterwards. He's really getting a lot going. Yeah, with the cluster patterns here. Yeah, that jump B, nice cross up. Oh my god. Nice, oh. and the weapon switch combo into wall bounce. Yeah, the oh, mix again. Into wall bounce one more time. Oh, doesn't get the follow up. No kill. Up. <laughs> Goes oh. low in the front after the arm. You're going way too hard, Mega Man. That cross up was sick too with the assist. Oh, the cross back Bruh. up to the front. Bro. Oh, tried to go for the unblockable setup there. He's gone for it twice now. I've seen him hit it before, but uh, maybe he doesn't quite have the time here today. A little bit of nerves. First game on stream. It'll happen. Yeah, I really like the uh, the movement and the space control here from Marvel Matt. He's not opening himself up to any sort of danger and the DHC. Directly to level three. Nice. Flexing on him a little bit with the Morgan Lilith here. It's a nice little bit of attack, because like I said, that's a... Oh, yeah, that's a good anti-air. Just all of Volnut's supers have invulnerability for some reason. Yeah, why Why does this fireball super have invulnerability and it's like plus on block? Wow. It's the last time Ooh, Capcom loved Mega Man. into finishing shower? Yeah, what? Oh, the burst got baited as well. Not able oh, to get man. much of a punish. Oh, DP. I, I'm not going to lie. I was not aware of that combo. I was not aware that that worked like that. Very nice from Marvel, Matt. Going up We're seeing the here. new tech coming out already. Let's go. And as always, this will be first to three. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Poco still has a chance here, but Marvel, Matt, looking pretty dominant right out of the gate. Yeah, TVC tournaments are normally three out of five because I say so. <laughs> we make the rules. <laughs> These are... These are these are the kind of privileges that are afforded to you when you're in the tournament. <laughs> All right, controlling space with the Buster shot. Yeah, Mega Man, uh, Marvel Matt again. <laughs> I call him Mega Man. Uh, Mar Marvel Matt again. He uh, he's got such great uh, command of these Buster patterns, right? He's doing a great job of yeah. like, getting in, getting out, keeping the screen filled with projectiles at all times while he does it as well. And definitely not getting overly Ooh. predictable as well. Wow, the reverse cross up. All right, Duranjo laying down on the job, bringing in Walnut, try to get some of that red life back. Goes low. Yeah, and he's very, very good about uh, bust uh, like switching back out after like a failed pressure string, doesn't overcommit. You know, just really great command of the character already. Ooh, and using the double forward movement on the stance switch. Ooh, <laughs> nice anti-air. <laughs> yeah, catches him with the raw anti-air 5B, I think that was. Yeah, you know Mega Man keeps the thing on him. Here comes Duranjo with the... Oh, the, oh, nice the big... Whatever that orb <laughs> is dropping. I think that was supposed to be a throw. <laughs> All right, gets oh, the combo off the assist. Not, not quite sure about that situation there. Into the level three, I think that should be enough to kill Duranjo here. It's gonna be close. Not quite. Duranjo living on a prayer here, manages to tag out, try to get that red life back, but all of a sudden Mega Man's getting hit again. Worst knockdown, pressure keeps coming. That's Morrigan's yeah, special shell beat. kick. Ooh, gets Knocked opened up. again. Yep, okay, there's the anti air. Not safe. But you can only get away with it once. I've got plenty of invincibility to work with here. Blocks the rock. Nice. Okay. Ooh, nice Baroque pressure. Giving up a lot of red life there, but getting some damage off it. Looking worth chasing down with the butt attack. Yeah, wrong strength of the rock drop on that combo there. Otherwise, he could have killed. Oh, there's oh, the counter. Oh, Let's go. Nice reactions. And Volnut's coming in. Poco looking alive. Yeah, still got a chance here. Oh, the Waluigi misses. Eats some bullets to the face. Out. We got the Volnut Mirror, the true test of skill. All right. The uh, the level three buster charge is now off the table. Charging it back up, though. Yeah, I, I we're definitely seeing, like, Poco, or I'm sorry, uh, Marble Matt is making it a priority to hold down the buster and get it charged. Looks like Poco not really looking for it. Yeah, he really likes to use that level three to try and catch people and do some uh, anti-runaway stuff mostly. Ooh, getting the corner combo off the burst with the wall bounce. Not gonna be able to kill. Oh, 
He really, again, I think he was trying to go for that unblockable setup because he can do crouch mid and if it's blocked, he can unblockable. Oh no! The height just wrong there for Marvel, Matt, and Poco stays alive. That was very clutch, you know, trying to use the projectile super to float above, but Mega Man's little toesies reaching yeah, down a little too far. The, the, the Volnut brain kicks in at the end, and both of them go for that uh, invincible Buster Super. <laughs> <laughs> My two remaining brain cells firing Buster Supers at each other. But... What do I do? Oh, God. Oh, God. Nice cross up right at the beginning. Marble Matt starting off strong. Gonna go for a mix here, I'm sure. Stays same side. Good block. The double dash? Yo. Yeah, and he's got such a great cross up hitbox on his jump mid as well. Yeah, Duranjo is really need to gonna need to find some space here. It just seems like Mega Man, you know, he's all up in your grill. What are you gonna do to get out of it? It's hard to hard to convert off the grounded shield arm. Yeah, trying to set up these projectiles, but Marvel Matt is just too aggressive. He keeps getting in. Poco, that's the second time in a row he has uh, done a crouch B and not committed to the stand C afterwards. Nice raw tag, gets away with it. Now we got the mirror back on deck here. But definitely Morgan assists, a lot more useful than Duranjo assists. So. Mm -hmm. Duranjo assist is nice, but uh, especially in a zoning battle, it's not good for much. Yeah. Filling the screen up with these projectiles. Look at the patterns here. Mm -hmm. And he's charging the buster as well. Oh, look at oh, that! There it Massive is! Massive damage! Huge amount of damage. That's what we were talking about. He tries to catch him running away while he's jumping up there at super jump height. Oof. Look at oh, the movement! Nice. Shield arm, weapon switch, into falling jumpy, and she has to burst. Okay, the palm tree is gonna interrupt the super, gets away with another raw tag here. Overhead! He An overhead. Knockdown pressure. Okay! Nice counter. Coco, very aware of these situations, ready to go with these uh, reversals. That is a huge amount of life on Morrigan, though. Like, she she is definitely going to be able to last Ooh. a while here if he can't get a really damaging combo. Nice! Coco, again, not believing in his hits. That's going to be the level three. And Bull not dead, dead this time, right? Gotta be, gotta be. Yeah, he's dead. Duranjo losing that red life. This is such a bad situation. Oh, nice conversion. Yeah. Firing the yeah. missiles. Well, firing it was nice bullets. knowing you. And Marvel Matt takes it 3-1. Poco was looking good out there, but Marvel Matt just a little bit uh, more on point with this Volnut Morrigan. You can tell he's really, uh, he's got that flow chart down, right? That's level one of playing a versus game where it's like, yeah. I hit the hit, I knock you down, I pressure you, I mix you up, and we keep it going, right? Yeah, very impressive neutral, I thought. Like, w when you're playing a character like Duranjo, you just, you have to really outplay the opponent in the neutral, but it looked like he didn't really have a plan to get mm -hmm. past all the buster shots, to get past the charge shot, to get past the Morrigan fireball. It was too much for him. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, so very nicely played to Marvel Matt, and I'm glad he got to, again, he's one of our sort of newer generation TVC players. It's good to see him out here uh, doing some stuff. But up next, we are gonna have some not so new generation TVC players. We're gonna have Dawa Dawa versus Pops. Classic matchup. Classic, Classic matchup. matchup. Yeah, and uh, both of these two also people who come out for lobby night a lot. So we know they've been practicing. And Dawa Dawa has definitely risen to become kind of the uh, premier zero player in the scene. Another Chicago guy. I'm just saying. Just saying. <laughs> Uh, and Pops uh, plays a ton of teams, especially with his uh, Duranjo Alex. So you might get to see more Duranjo right away. Who knows? Uh, True. Dude, I, I actually really like seeing Duranjo. <laughs> Very unique character. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. I, I always like characters that kind of seem like they're they're kind of attacking on accident. You know, like Phoenix Wright and stuff. Like she she just kind of lays down, and then when she Lay like down, blowing kisses, gets up stuff. off the ground. Yeah, she blows kisses. Like mm -hmm. I always think it's funny when characters are you know they're not really active participants in the battle, but if if they hit you. With with yeah. some stuff while they're doing their thing, then that's just a bonus. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, and I always really like, um, there's a couple other characters that work like it too. I always think of uh, Yuda from Hokuto no Ken especially, but uh, those kind of puppet characters where you've got just uh, assists that you can call basically, right. uh, apart from like any normal assist mechanic. It's always it's always a lot of fun. Right, Especially in this game Marvel with Baroque, it, it's just so cool because you can do like, you know, call a friend and then Baroque it so you don't have the normal recovery right. on it and keep combos going and stuff. Really cool character. A lot of fun to see. 
but on Dawa Dawa's side, obviously, we're gonna have the ultimate tryhard, Zero, the edgy robot oh, boy. Zero feelings. Don't don't zero. undersell this. This is a Zero Ryu player right here. This is this the is, the oldest this, trick in the book here. <laughs> this is this is 95% of net players one month after this game's release. You know. <laughs> All right, so we are getting Duranjo Alex. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. These two actually had a really good set last week, too, so I'm hopeful that we'll see something really cool out of this uh, Duranjo Alex. Pops has been putting in a lot of work lately. You know, Alex, uh, it's a character that is easy to underestimate, right? You know, he doesn't, he feels maybe a little out of place in a game with so much anime, but at the end of the day, his damage is absolutely out of control, and his assist is pretty good, too. Yeah. Nice throw to get out of the pressure there from uh, Pops. Good awareness of those gaps in the zero oh, block. Oh, God. Did he get hit by the rock and then still got a combo anyway? <laughs> Nice. Um, actually, he didn't get hit by the rock because it gets tapped away by projectiles. Oh. You can see this normal that went all the way over My his head. God. Yeah, he just knocked him away. That is so cursed. And speaking of cursed, this combo. Okay. I have to go for the link. Okay. Ooh, Duranjo yeah. going to be able to get huge damage. You really had to burst Absolutely there. Got to the, burst that. the palm tree was still there to hold him down after the burst as well. So I really like this Duranjo that we're seeing from Pops here. Again, pretty even on resources here. Nice. Using the, ooh, 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 the rock the to stay under floating. Oh, not quite able to get it. Had the broke. Didn't quite use it. Oh! oh! <laughs> the command grab reset. Yeah, burst bait with a built-in reset in it. Very yeah. clever stuff. Could have gone for the palm tree, which would have covered burst and comboed, but you know, whatever. It's like this. Listen, at the end of the day, he's <laughs> anti-airing him after the Baroque comboed into the palm tree. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, nice. and he gets awesome. the alpha counter into Alex. Ryu's got a huge chunk of red, but that's yeah, going to be a uh, big burst. Bursting, bursting the alpha counter from Alex is actually a good decision because he does tons of reset damage with no meter. Right. Nice. Yeah, the combo scaling doesn't matter if you get reset into an air grab, but he doesn't have burst nice in this Nice cross up, by the way. <laughs> oh, my God. That is a huge Woo! stick of red, and now it's all gone. It's going to be Duranjo versus Ryu. Good block. Good block. Yeah, that incoming mix can be so ambiguous. The rocks are getting dropped. Waluigi's here with the palm tree. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dropping boulders, smooching, butt drop. Setting up the zoning patterns here. Okay, Baroque's chased behind the fireball. Fireball Baroque. Oh man, he's pushed Duranjo all the way oh, back to the corner. Look at the air movement as well. The shimmy yeah, covers. The oh! Oh! oh Drop. It's such a good move. It's really the cornerstone of our gameplay. It's catching people with that rock from the ceiling, and it closes the game out here. My man's dropping boulders like Colorado. This is crazy. <laughs> a, a very impressive first round there from Pops. I thought that his his Duranjo versus Zero matchup, you know, it's not easy to beat Zero with anyone. So the Whoa. fact that he was doing so well in the neutral, but that's not what's happening now. He is getting put in the blender here. Oh, nice launcher. Raw well. launcher. Oh my gosh, the pizza cutter. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's where you got to burst. He was about to eat a corner Whoa. combo for that one. Yup, a little Whoa. bit. Tried to go for the reset. He was a little bit early. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe a questionable decision to Baroque with Duranjo right before you tag her out, but uh, he ended up getting some nice advantage off of the palm tree, despite losing all the red life. <laughs> whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You got a burst! Oh. Never mind. Yeah. Extremely unfortunate. Stop the combo. He tried to go for the, uh, the dash up extension, which is a little harder. Yeah, and like we've mentioned, Zero, despite being top here, he does have the downside of having a low life bar. So if he does get touched <laughs> by Alex, what the heck did I he think just Alex do? is going for the uh, the movement VAR there. There's some weird tech you can do to move in the air with Alex with the VAR. Uh, it doesn't cost meter. But I think he accidentally hit Zero there. <laughs> so right. Tagged him. Just got the straight up VAR on block. Ooh, Raw Launcher baiting a burst that doesn't oh, exist, yeah. maybe? Nice oh. cross up though. Awesome. Kills off Duranjo. Alex coming in. Broke oh, unblockable. It's the unblockable, but doesn't finish. Oh! That was huge. He's down one burst. If Pops can get through this other burst, he could be in position, but. Lands two consecutive uh, jump heavies, though. Yeah, that is certainly going to be a dead Alex if he doesn't drop here. Just kidding. Burst with just a pixel. Ooh, he's loosening up the shoulder. 
Oh, this is Team fun. Hyper Combo. Yeah. <laughs> Red Koha covers the full screen in this game, so uh, he just calls that out with the team super, and it is very hard, especially for someone like Alex, to get around it. Try to I like the attempt. Head. I like the attempt yeah. with the with the dive. All right, what it's is, one one. What is my fastest horizontal movement option? Yeah, <laughs> like dive. we might have a close match here, man. So yeah, I mean the difference we saw is just if Zero can get that first hit, if he can get going early, he can just spiral the whole match out of control. Nice, he got yeah. some space back here. Oh, maybe. Ooh, mix. There it is. Okay. Didn't even have to use the throw. I think, I think he was expecting the burst right away there, because he reached two meters just before he uh, sort of let that combo drop. I like the use of the up-angled rock throw here from Pops to control some of that aerial space that Zero wants to occupy, but okay, good blocking everything out. No Baroque block available. Easy butt. The butt actually has a really big, like, almost like disjointed hitbox on it. Shades uh, beats on a lot of air normals clean. Peach and melee a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, yep. pizza cutter. Nice. Ooh, burst into the corner. Yeah, he gets some good Abari, though. He does burst out. I'm not really sure about the decision. Because... Ooh, that's a dead zero. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ryu coming in. Ryu versus oh. Alex. Classic matchup. Little, little too galaxy brain there with some kind of air dash back. Okay. Very nice defense here from Pops. Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> pick up off the kiss. That's what it's good for. True. Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of uh, acting as its own little combo breaker there. Whoa, he is going for strong Baroque pressure here. Oh, overhead. overhead. Now we got these corner combos. Oh, burst. You gonna burst? He Ugh. didn't burst. Oh, he didn't die though. He didn't get the reset, so it didn't kill. Yeah, combo damage. I love this Baroque There's the pressure and another again. overhead. Pops going up two to one in this set. Very impressive Alex play. I mean, he was uh, using Baroque in a very clever way and instantly transitioning into some sh movement with instant air dash, keeping the pressure alive and those double overheads, man. <laughs> Up 2-1. Dawa Dawa on the back foot with, with the legendary zero. I love what we're seeing right now. Yeah. All right, she's smooching. Dropping rocks backwards, but gets punished on landing into a reset with the cross up. Yeah, she takes the uh, force knockdown there. <laughs> with the OTG. Jump back light to break that up, though. Oh, he's getting so much mileage out of this uh, raw launcher. He was talking about that when we were playing offline last time. I just need to launch more. Dude. Yeah, it's, it's a out very strong anti air hitbox. Manages to get away with the raw tag here, so Alex is going to have a chance, but this neutral against Zero can be so hard. He just controls so much space. Yeah, and that is an overhead. Forced the burst to get out of the corner here. Five meters on deck for Dawa Dawa, looking like a tough situation for Pop. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Zero with the with the Buster shot combined with that Ryu assist, you know, he can run away, he can rush down, he can just do it all. Yeah, we're seeing again Baroque trying to get in off it, but at the end of the Ooh! Okay. immediate burst from Dawa Dawa. Yeah, he does not true. want to let this uh, this momentum drop. Oh, we could have had something there. Okay, okay getting the wall bounce, going to force yes. another burst here. Just kidding. <gasps> oh! Punish. Burst again? Okay. This is so unfortunate that you get the unscale there on the VAR. Burst after the VAR is a good decision, though. That way he doesn't build back much meter after the uh, VAR you. Right, true. Zero has this massive amount of red life that he's recovering, so if Alex could dispatch Ryu at some point here, mm -hmm, maybe mm -hmm. the comeback is possible. Oof. Oh, Ooh, I yeah. like Baroque. Baroque to block safe. it, yeah. Are we gonna go, uh... No, he doesn't go so Genmu. I'm shocked. Yeah, I guess he didn't want to lose the red life, but that decision could have come back to bite him. Yeah. Oh. oh, manages to take out the Alex. Rancho coming in. The backwards reverso cross up. Dawa Dawa trying to send this to a game five. Can you 
do it with this Ryu. Zero's recovering health, oh. though. Could be a threat again soon. Yeah, there's the burst out of Pops. Yeah, I think. Oh, he saw the pixel now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. He's up. just gonna chip yeah, out with up. super. Chip out with the super. Very nice. Dawa Dow bringing it back two to two. We're going to game five. The classic. The classic. the. I, I guess I shouldn't call it TV Corona. We're past that now. But the uh, <laughs> you know the uh, Tatsunoko <laughs> versus Capcom net play Ooh, tournament yeah. series. <laughs> classic is. Uh, uh, going I feel to like I need to bring back Tatsunoko versus Corona. It was probably a bad idea to end that uh, that name. But, uh... <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> keep an eye on the on the well, headlines. We'll see, see how it happens. goes. <laughs> Zero pizza we, cutting. We get another lockdown, we'll bring always. it back. <laughs> oh my gosh, that all comboed. Can you believe it? But Yeah. Duranjo getting clipped in the corner. Yeah, Such a that tough was about situation. to be a relaunch. I wonder if we're going to see a uh, raw tag attempt or if he's going to use that red life to try to get a nice Baroque setup with some project. Whoa. There's the burst. <laughs> Actually grabs him out of the burst. Two hits, zero damage on the on the assist call there. Yeah, classic. Th this is very nice neutral here from Pops. He's got the space that he wants. And yeah, I mean, very even so day. far in terms of both life and meter. The big thing I would look out for here is honestly raw tag. Like I, I feel like raw tag is the big threat if he can get zero out. I don't think he's just gonna want to leave him in to die. This is this is working out really well for Pops. Uh, Dawa Dawa, we've talked about it before. There it is. <laughs> he actually had a had a Chicago punish there, but uh, burst comes out anyways. <laughs> Yeah, those uh, boulders were, they were chipping away at zero, yeah. man. That was very good. We've talked about it before, how Dawa Dawa is someone who really likes the zone with zero. But Duranjo, one of the best things about her is kind of her anti-zoning. She does well against uh, Blade and zero in those kind of situations because she can drop things that hit zero at an angle where his busters and whatever won't just tap it away like a lot of characters. So this does like more a, damage uh, than the Shinku by a significant amount. And then wow. DHC back into it. Alex is dead. Pop's gonna lose a lot of red life on this Duranjo now. Yeah, one bad push block attempt it looks like is going to completely seal the deal here. Duranjo so helpless here in the corner. No meters to work with, no maidens. No assist. <laughs> nice footsies. Gets the okay. combo. Combo a little bit. Yeah, has to go for a reset. Nice DP. Oh my god. Oh, oh eating fireballs to the fireballs. Mm -hmm. Jump! Oh, oh Chippo lays down. All right, well, Dawa Dawa takes it three to two over Pops in a close set. That was a we got a we got a great start to this tournament so far. Yeah, I was really starting to believe in the Durant. He's starting to believe. I was starting to feel it, mm -hmm. but uh, you know, at the end of the day, Zero Ryu, good team, good yeah. team, known to be a solid team, and yeah, uh, we're sure. about to see more Zero as well. Yeah, we're getting in there um, today. It's the return of Omega Zero versus uh, Marvel Matt, who we saw a little bit of earlier. Yeah, we'll have to see Marvel Matt. We saw how he did uh, in the mirror, but how is he going to handle Zero with this Volnut? You know, Volnut, he's got a lot of great tools. He's got a lot of invincibility as well. So maybe that could be a, mm -hmm. a useful mm -hmm. way to get the robot off you, but we'll have to yeah. see. Yeah, we'll see. I'm not sure, um, you know, he'll have a little bit of experience playing Zero matchup against Dawa Dawa, but uh, Oz has a has a plate style unto itself. Um, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes here. Yeah, obviously, you know, Zero, one of the strongest, most well-represented characters, but the way that Omega U Zero uses him is very unique with the uh, Joe the Condor assist that you don't yeah. see every day. Yeah, um, the what we saw before was Zero Ryu, which is very classic, you know, tap a couple normals, call the Ryu assist, yeah. go for a teleport, you know, uh, see what happens, and then keep pressuring forever. Um, Joe the Condor assist goes up at an angle. It doesn't even hit people who are on the ground in front of you, so you cannot use it for that. Uh, but it, it allows him to do... It's kind of fun because it allows him to do sort of a, a different set of things where it's really hard to approach him in the air. So if he does an upwards teleport that puts him in the air, uh, you can't challenge him at all. And he gets to basically right. do what he wants on the way down because of all of his options like dive kick and pizza cutter and things like that. So it's, it's, it's a really cool different way to see the character. And we'll see what Marvel Matt does about it here.
I think it would be a fun challenge for me. Like, it would be the the impossible challenge would be to actually learn the names of Zero's moves because I just use I only use colloquial terms, you know. Like I, I feel like most fighting game players are like this. We don't know what the moves are actually called, right? Yeah. It's like he's got pizza cutter, he's got dive kick, dive he's kick, got, got DP. Yeah, DP of course. <laughs> The There's one that I do in college is um, Hadangeki, right? Which oh, is that's the, the projectile. Oh, projectile is Hadangeki? Mm-hmm. I would Hadan never remember. That. That's the, the charge projectile. Yep. Yeah, Shapuga, that's the that's the charge. To moves by their real I think. Name, and I'm just like, oh, my brother in Christ, what are you talking about? <laughs> I, I do not know what any of those words mean. <laughs> Shapuga is actually the command normal. It's is? forward heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forward heavy is called Shapuga? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Rekoha is install super, right? Rekoha is the the laser super. Oh my god, I don't even know. Uh, and then Ryu Engine is the DP, right? Is so uh, Ryu Engine is the DP. So Genmu is the install super. Yeah, so we're most of the way through them, I think. I don't think I know the name for dive kick. <laughs> and now everything is so Genmu. Any move with a duplicator is is so Genmu. So Genmu, <laughs> yeah. It's Genagen, right? Yeah, Genagen. That's that's what I'm gonna call. It. <laughs> All right, well, we're getting in there. I'm not sure if we're going to get a button check or uh, or what. Maybe Omega Zero, you know, it's been a while. Maybe he'll sit on Gold Light Hand for a second. Volnut Batsu, yeah, I'm I'm not believing this. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking button check here. Let's not get our hopes up too much. Yeah. For the rival schools revival. Messing with my timestamps. <laughs> yeah, he's just standing there. Didn't even try to bait. I mean, this is, you know, not the kind of effort I would expect from, from Omega Zero. It's a new era. It's a new era. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> He's just testing the taunt button. Uh, is, is taunt its own button? How, how do you taunt? It is. Uh, it was bound by default to the Z button on, uh, on GameCube controllers, for what it's uh. worth. Um, but it is its own button. You can bind it. I guess they they don't have like enough buttons to do like a macro, you know, like a both heavies type of thing. Yeah. There's yeah. just no room. <laughs> yeah, it is useful for Duranjo players though. Duranjo oh, true. Is, that's how that's how she smooches. Yep. Um, so it's good for stalling and also a little bit of zoning. But... Let's see. We're we gonna see the zero. Zero jump comics. <laughs> Hovering bull net again. Lightan. Lightan. Titan. Oh, for real, for real? Okay. Ooh. Okay. I mean, you know. The mirror? <laughs> that is that is actually classic Omega Zero right there. He's going for the mirror match. Um, he wants to say, I'm better at your team than you are. Uh just the kind of just the kind of person he is. I mean, it's hard for me to imagine <laughs> Omega Zero making anything happen here. We've seen Marvel Matt. He's good with these characters, man. Yeah. Omega Zero, I will say, uh, to his credit, has been playing a lot of this game for a lot of years. It has, uh, you know, a pretty good chunk of the cast down to, a, like, a playable state. So we'll see how it goes. Oh, there we go, though. Cross-up. Forces the burst right back. Yeah, both players sitting at zero, so any hit here could be massive. And that's exactly what we're seeing. The yep. red life broke. Relaunch. Ooh. Yep. Still a combo, not even a reset there. That's a one. that's a oh, dead kit. Oh. Drops. Nope, nope, nope. Especially with the excited. shield arm preventing uh, chip damage. Oh. oh no! Catches him with the anti-air level three charge buster, and Omega Zero off to a hot start. All right, let me fix my face. The man, the man's <laughs> got it going here. Morgan standing there menacingly. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, of course, worth pointing out that. That's another reason why that Mega Man Super is so good, is because you have so much time just to charge the Buster Shot during it, like he's gonna do right here. Mm -hmm. Last hit gets the uh, soft knockdown. We're zoning now. Morgan, I don't like your chances here. I'm sorry. Okay, she's not gonna it. Yeah, she does have a, uh, a short herd box when she's uh, crouching. Nice! Oh no! Oh, looked like maybe expecting the burst there. Wasn't hitting anything. Could have had the mix at least, but uh, gets taken out. Omega Zero goes up 1 0. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Not like this. <laughs> okay, we're g going right back in. Going to retry. Yep. I mean, I wouldn't expect Marble Matt to switch characters, so uh, he's gonna have to uh, to take this uh, take these games before uh, he can force Omega Zero to pick his real shit. He's getting walked into the corner a little bit here at the start. The pre-match mind game. Oh, just not blocking his toes. All right, you're gonna see a reset here, I'm sure. Ooh. Did he just use stance change defensively to avoid the reset? Kind of nice. Ooh, three busters. Oh yeah. my gosh, Morrigan. Oh. What? Dropping the combo there. Seems like a bit of spaghetti falling out of the pockets yeah, here. Yeah, might be having a little bit of trouble with the connection. Uh, you might not be used to this. Uh, but, uh, oh yeah, gets in there right away again. He really, uh, he really likes to go for those crouched lights more than we've seen out of Marvel now. Yeah. It is a good button. Ooh, reset. Uh, doesn't have that combo, though. All right, Morgan trying to regain her footing here. Transition to a bit of a keep-away game. Yeah, a lot of red life, but uh, gonna have to force a burst out if he wants to uh, use a secure kill. All right, raw super. Ooh, she does manage to jump above it. Safe super here from Morgan. Ooh! I was about to say, I'm not sure how that's going to work out. It worked yeah. out a little better than I thought, but uh, still not great. Oh, oh yeah, God. and that's enough damage to close it off. Omega Zero going up 2-0 in this set. Off of really just like a couple kind of missed decisions there at the beginning that left Morgan solo, you know? All right, we are seeing character select, maybe taking a breather here. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe maybe Marble Matt thinks he has something that works well against the team. We'll see. Gotta counterpick your own team here. Alright, we're just hey, going right back in. Back into it. I respect it. Take your time. Take a second. Clear out the cobwebs. Yeah, exactly. You gotta Drink the water. stretch it out a little bit. Alright. Mm -hmm. If Morgan can just you know, she just has to uh Get away from Mega Man. That's kind of been the issue. Mega Man has really been quite aggressive here from Omega Zero, and that's exactly what we're seeing again. Yeah. I mean, Omega Zero, it, it clearly just wants to get in with the Buster Spam and then mash Crouch Light, right? And he really needs to find a way to stop getting hit by it, yeah. or else, uh, you know, this isn't going to go well. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. The Not meter. a huge amount of damage here. The meter build could be very important, though. He's got the Buster Charge, setting up the zoning, Cosmic. There bonus. it is. Oh my god, the damage. Unfortunately, it didn't have too many hits left. Yeah, nice. Invincibility, and it clears the Fireball. What a super. And now Marvel Matt's got the Buster Charge. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah. My two remaining brain cells. Let's go. <laughs> Last three hits. Because the first three hits of the regular machine gun canceled out the first three hits of uh, the super machine gun. Oh, true. <laughs> oh my gosh, wait, this is huge. Forces a burst out. Is Marvel nice Mac going to look for a raw tag? Yes, he does. Okay. Not going to get the uh, force knockdown there. Ooh. Ooh. Burst? Oh, Ooh, burst get somehow gets the cornerback. Doesn't chase yeah. the tech roll, though. Oh, mm. no. Omega Zero. Close to closing this out now. Volnut can come in with very little health left. Yeah, plus on yeah, block. The mix here. goes low. Doesn't finish. <laughs> Get that launch. All right, just do another super. Why not? Oh my gosh, the swift right. 3 0 from Omega Zero. Omega Zero out here doing it. He's uh, you know, he's got the fundamentals. It's like it's like we said. There's a simple game plan in 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 full effect there that you can see, right? He's got the the movement and everything with the Volna, and then you just get in and you put the pressure on, right? Yeah, so congrats to Omega Zero, he'll be moving on. Uh, which I, I think he's gonna stay on the setup here and have to fight James. James! Ooh, James versus Omega Zero, okay, okay. That should be a pretty hype one. Yeah, that should be. Let me check out the brackets here. Yeah, kind of a... From what you were saying earlier, kind of a smaller bracket today. Like, yeah, well, I mean, you know, we uh, we haven't been doing these as regularly as we had in the past. Uh, but the good news is we've got like a bunch of new people out here from uh, 
from like the lobby nights and stuff, and we're getting to see some uh, some newer players. But we've got some heavy hitters coming up soon here. Y'all might remember James, our favorite uh, Frank role player. True. From tournaments past. Ooh, I love seeing Frank roll. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then uh, after that, I believe we're going to have uh, Buku versus Dawa Dawa, which is a big one. And that they, the two of them also had a really incredible set at Frosty Faustings this year. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, the whole point of this tournament, of course, being the boot camp, is that people are on, people are on the grind. I'm sure we're going to see some of these yeah. competitors at Combo Breaker next month. Yep, Combo Breaker's coming up. We are announced as an official side tournament, so you can uh, register at the uh, the real uh, all-in together is what we're calling the uh, the side mm. tournament program there. You can register right there uh, at, at look at uh, I, which there's like a link from the Combo Breaker page. I don't know. You can find it. It's easy. Nice. Very, very <laughs> exciting stuff. The return to <laughs> offline. What a world. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we were lucky we got to do a, a really nice tournament at, uh, at Frosty Faustings, and now Combo Breaker's coming up. I'm super excited. Uh, I'm gonna, gonna see some, some of these guys come out and put, uh, put, the, uh, put this experience we've had all this time to use in, the, in an offline setting. You know? Yeah, everyone's, we've all just been in the hyperbolic time chamber this whole time, you know, grinding on, uh, yeah. on net play, and then we all come together for the for the true offline experience. I don't know. Yeah, I feel, it's, I feel it's more like the two-year gaps in one piece. <laughs> yeah, we've had the training arc. We've had the time skip. And then we're coming back. Yeah. Um, I was watching a little bit of the uh, the Marvel 3 before this over at uh, Texas Showdown. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's cool seeing some of the, uh, the net play players who you've seen from, you know, Tampa yeah. Up Sleeps. Uh, up against some of the old guard. Uh, you know, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody or whatever in case you're trying to catch the VODs after this. But, uh, yeah, some, like, great matches between people that you think of as, like, you know, putting in results in tournaments back in the day and some of these newer net play, net play warriors from over COVID. It's really cool to see. I think the times have really changed. It used to be, like, okay, mm -hmm. you're... You're either a, an online warrior or you're, like, a real player. But now they're kind of one in the same. You know, a lot of the people who are blowing up the offline events uh, are quote-unquote uh, net players or uh, online warriors. So mm -hmm. uh, yeah. pretty impressive uh, the way, you know, people are starting to show up. I really like to see it. Yeah. Also, everybody, uh, I believe we have a, a command. Do we have a Macharino command? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, hit up the Macharino. There are free codes there. We got codes from Macharino. See, all you have to do now is hit claim code. You don't even need to put in a word or whatever. You literally just press the button. It's also a uh, cool sponsor quest. There's the one to follow boss is still on there, which is like the easiest money of my life. You will, you will <laughs> not regret it. I promise. Um, and like uh, some other stuff, there's also, you know, whatever, if you want to throw money and support the players, that's always an option. Uh, but uh, just check it out. You know, the players. Yeah, shout outs, it. shout outs to boss, man. We, we just got off of uh look alive, the uh, sort mm -hmm. of week long, pre combo breaker uh stream event and uh man boss delivered some incredible exhibitions did you did you watch any of those like the uh the weird karate game yeah the you... chu and ryaku or whatever it was called yeah right. but also i actually used to play uh that version of power instinct that they played on there oh uh, power instinct 5 <laughs> go Ketsuji ichizoku yeah um, of course I, that, that, that one came out while I was living in Japan. I used to play it in the arcades, and I was like, "Oh!" So wow. Boss came through with that one. <laughs> what about Rumblefish too? Are you are you a Rumblefish? Rumblefish? I played it. I played it. Yeah, but uh, I never got too into it. It was cool. I watched the the set though. It was cool. It's cool to see. I know, like Justin Wong was a top Rumblefish player. Isn't that true? Yeah, I had some friends who played Rumblefish. Yeah, uh, lots of cool yeah. stuff. I love that was, I mean, you know, as cool as it is to see like Guilty Gears drive sets from, you know, uh, around the world, it is neat to see different scenes and stuff. I did really enjoy, you know me. I love seeing the really weird stuff out right. there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, that, that's one of the great things about the FGC is we're not, you know, we're not the Street Fighter community. We're not the mm -hmm. the Guilty Gear community. We're the fighting game community. So whatever, yeah. <laughs> whatever fighting games are out there that are fun to play, you know, there's going to be people who have a passion for it. Yeah, yeah. In case there's anybody here who didn't see, we, myself, and Crofts also uh, commentated a set of TVC for that. So if you wanted to check that out, that was on day two of uh, of Look Alive. That was pretty fun as well. Yeah, I think but those vods are getting posted on the Combo Breaker YouTube channel. 
believe so. For now, you can check them in the in Sage Amp's Twitch VODs, but they should be up on YouTube. For now, we're you guys, we're we're doing our best to stall for time here. We're buttons are getting set, things are getting set up. Yeah, um, yeah, we are going to be getting in there with our next set, which is Omega Zero versus James, and we're we're in there. Buttons are getting set up, and uh, we'll have the set for you in just a minute here. Um, yeah, getting into character swing now. Did you see? Uh, <laughs> apropos of nothing, did you see the uh, the viral War Machine clip? That, uh, oh, the there? the half health War Machine <laughs> assist. <laughs> I did see I, that. Yeah. I, I can't deal. I actually, uh, <laughs> a little known fact, I'm pretty sure the most damaging assist in Marvel 2 is Iron Man. But you Are they going for it? Is this real? Oh, you know, I, w I was just changing the subject because I didn't even want to mention what I was certain was a button check, but... We'll see. Uh, I mean, I know these two both are light tan players, so uh, we'll say it's real for now. Yeah, okay. Um, Omega Zero getting off to a good start, I guess. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, James got hustled, you know, I, I think by now we all know that if Omega Zero asks you to do a light hand mirror, you should just say no. Oh yeah, for sure. That was a nice breakaway. Oof. Pressure? Yeah, broke. That's smart. Uh, basically, ending uh, everything light hand does is unsafe. So ending the series with the command grab is kind of the only thing you can do. Even if it gets broken, you still get to uh, chip with that jump light there. <laughs> right. At least at least you're not <laughs> left punishable. I, I can never tell if gold light hand is stand blocking or crouch blocking. It looks the same to me. Yeah, it looks very similar. Oh, there it is. Catches with the extension. You know, it's not fair because gold light hand does more damage than silver light hand. Yeah, this is actually a 7-3 matchup. Gold, gold Lightan is not good at dealing with Gold Lightan's Optimus. So. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Ooh, the instant overhead. You you had you did me a bamboozle there for one second there, Doc. I, I was like, wait, really? <laughs> that's, uh, that's a joke, everyone. Silver Lightan is not even Gold Lightan. Except mentally. The, yeah, the right. mental guard. I mean, you break. know, you know that really you're the second place light hand. As soon as you yeah, exactly. When's bronze light hand? <laughs> there were actually a bunch of light hands apparently. Uh, Platinum the, light hand doko. In the course of the series, if you go look into the lore, you know. I don't even know what this guy's from. What's, what's he from? Uh, he's from gold light hand. Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> and so the story, is, the story is it a guy of gold light hand? No, it's actually, there's a small boy who finds a, uh, a Zippo lighter on the ground <laughs> and uh, picks it up, uh, takes it home, which is a, a good message for kids because then it turns out it's a, uh, a super strong uh, friend from outer space, Gold Light Hand, uh, who transforms from this lighter into a giant robot uh, to have adventures with this kid. Transformers, kind of. I like how you said that like it was all completely normal. <laughs> you know, or like Iron Giant, maybe. Yeah, basically that type of thing. But yeah, it just promotes bad habits in kids. Kids, don't pick up random lighters you find on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I mean, what 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 is there to say? I mean, the man yeah, knows the I mean, mirror. that's why I'm just talking about other stuff this whole yeah. time. I mean, he's just like, he's doing that one string into, uh, into Command Grab. <laughs> All right, well, we are seeing the character change, but um, if James switches here, Omega Zero does have the right to switch. Such are the rules. Mm -hmm. Wow, I'm just looking at Frank in, in full 1080p HD here. Look at the detail on this man's face. He's got the five o'clock shadow. Since we both have light hands, and I switch. Uh, yeah. yeah. So were the first two games like gimmies, or what, what's going on there? I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I am just shocked whenever anyone agrees to were, that. Were yeah, those homie should, stocks? You should never or? accept the mirror. Like it's even there, there are people who have taken the light hand mirror off of Omega Zero. It doesn't happen often, uh, but it's it's possible because he has grinded this match up to a point where he understands it really well, uh, and most people just do it for, for shits and giggles. Um, but even if you you are someone who can theoretically do that, just why? Yeah. Why do you want to subject yourself? To that? <laughs> right now, Frank West is being subjected to some some baroque combos here. Zero, he's got the corner early, not what you want to see. He's gonna get a relaunch here. 
into the force tech roll. Good blocks. Ooh! That was very nice stuff from James. He's got the burst away from Omega Zero, but unfortunately. Ooh, yeah, nice lane. Right back into it in the corner. He's got the relaunch. Yup, there it is. Oh, the burst. gosh. All right, calls in the zombie. Oh my god! Ugh, gets crossed up. Roll coming in. Yeah, not the situation you want to be in. Roll is hard to combo, but I don't know if it's going to matter when you got no meters. Okay, reset. Oh, nice. Good Abari there in the corner. Also, yeah, we didn't comment on this. He picked Morgan instead of uh, Joe DeCondro, so he is going for more of a classic zero with the, with the fireball cross -up. Oh, wow, the <laughs> broke into another DP just for the one hit. <laughs> I'm not I'm not convinced that's optimal, but uh, he manages to finish it off with the dive kick. Hey, that's three games. Oh my gosh, can we just never talk <laughs> about this again? <laughs> just don't do it, kids. Well, all you kids, don't do I'm it. I'm okay the with lighters. it. Lighters. <laughs> yeah, don't. Don't agree to light and mirror <laughs> matches. None of it. It's a bad influence. How how old is Gold Lighten? Is it from back in the day when like smoking was more normalized? I guess in yeah. Japan it probably still is. It still is in Japan, yeah. But it was from like the sixties, I want to say sixties or seventies. Uh, whoa, really, man? Tatsunoko, they they've been around the block, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they've been around the block and then out of the block and then back around the block. <laughs> yeah. They have slept with a lot of other properties, is what we're trying to say. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, looks like we're gonna have a head down to losers, losers real side quick. Side. Yeah. Match one, one match down in losers. Pops versus High Plains Grifter. High Plains Grifter, another uh, another lobby night regular here. Uh, someone who plays a lot of Ken the Eagle. Maybe might might get to see a little bit of that. Just we do we do time. like Ken the Ken the Eagle. To me, is one of those characters that like you always want to see succeed, mm -hmm. yeah. but it just doesn't happen that much. Uh, along with like Karas and stuff. It's, it's like one of those characters where you might have to work just a little bit too hard to get the same results you can get with an easier yeah. character, but he is very hype. I'm gonna I'm gonna resurrect my hot take that I made on stream the other day. Here mm -hmm. it goes. Um, I think that not only I no longer think that Joe the Condor is low tier, but I think he is the best Gachamon character in this game. That is pretty hot. I mean, you, you think most people would say Jun the Swan? I think most people would say Jun the Swan. I don't think a lot of people would say Ken. Uh, yeah. But That's I think, bold. Uh, I think he's better than both of them. Interesting. And uh, it's because of the boot or is there it's, some yeah, other Yeah, well, so he's got really good, especially now that you can block unblockable off like stand mid and stuff like that. He has way better like mid screen conversions and just better uh, sort of neutral than Jin this one. The, the boot makes him feel way less stubby if you know how to use it, you know? All right. I mean, listen, you would know better than me. That That is an interesting <laughs> one. That's my hot take. That's my hot take for now. I always thought it was amazing. When I came back to the game, I don't know, like two or three years ago, mm -hmm. uh, after not playing for a long time, I couldn't believe people said that Joe was bad. People said he was like one of the worst characters. I was like, really? Yeah. It was common. Uh, it was like sort of common sense for a while, right? Where it's like, ah, none of his specials do chip. He, yeah. You know, doesn't have a lot of like normal things. His assist is weird. It goes up in the air. But he has yeah. like two really good normals. Though. He's got no mix, you know. <laughs> he's got like he's got jump H and he's got five A. He's got two quite good. Jump normals. H is all right. It's okay. Oh, it's godlike. He puts the hammer down on you. It's like a mini pizza cutter. <laughs> it's uh like the reason why it's not a pizza cutter. Right? I know what you mean because it can cross up. Yeah, the it hits both behind sides. It. But it, but it, the, the hitbox rotates. It's not a big right. circular It's not hitbox. both sides. You have to time yeah, at the it same correctly time. to hit as cross up. So yeah, that's fair. So don't don't fair. get carried away. You know, that's all. Listen, I'm I, I've been, I've been <laughs> saying he's good. I'm just saying I'm on your side here. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but I, I also, you know, back in the day, people thought that um, Polymar was good, and now he's considered a, a pretty low tier character. But yeah. I think they're right about that one. I think Polymar is bad, unfortunately. High Plains Grifter on that 720p resolution, so we, we get that as well. Oh, like, that's what that, that is. Was on my end. <laughs> no, no, but that, <laughs> the magic of Dolphin. He's the host, he has 720p resolution, so we all get 720p resolution. This was the, the original experience. Actually, I guess it was probably like. Oh, not even that, that, yeah. Most people were playing them. <laughs> not even the luxury of 720p. At least we got 16 by 9. <laughs> yes. 
But yeah, Grifter versus Pops. We got Grifter, like I said, coming in with that disgusting lime green Ken the Eagle uh, versus <laughs> yeah. Pops that Duranjo Alex we saw earlier. We do like Duranjo, but you know, Ken, I just want to see Ken thrive. Yeah. Okay, so you think Ken is the worst Gachamon character? So what you're saying is, is you, you want to see him fly like an eagle. He's toe tapping. Yeah. Again, that's uh, it's about all you'll see combo wise out of Ken <laughs> the Eagle if you don't have some some cool extensions. <laughs> not uh, not his the hot, projectiles are good though. His, his projectiles are good. His his sweep projectiles is... are pretty good. They got nerfed from CGOH though, right? So they don't yeah. hit right in front of you anymore. They don't protect you on the way back, basically. Ooh, nice There's pressure. The yeah, pops yeah, is looking counter. strong right now. Okay, nice little conversion. <laughs> Trying to get past the boulders, but. And the eagle assist also very low stun. Yeah. Oh! I was gonna say, can he get a punish on that Hadoken? Very nice. Pops. Pops really the, the master of, of sort of stringing together random uh, resets with, with the Ronjo. It's like, oh, I hit sort of a weird uh, air to air conversion <laughs> off a rock and get an overhead. I mean, look exactly what you're talking about is unfolding right now. Yeah, like, ooh, nice little crossover there. And the assist extension. Oh, oh my god, he can't even kill. I'm shocked, he could kill. He should have definitely been able to kill there. Air super into Shinku Hadoken should have killed. <laughs> oh, raw tag nice gets out tag. of the setup. I respect it. Excellent tag. Good blocks on the other side. Bro? Oh, he no. connects the level three. Oh. oh, no. Pops looked like he was maybe going for a jump mid there or something. I'm not sure exactly what happened, but he actually gets clipped with the level three. Yeah, Grifter actually going to have a chance here. Mm hmm. First to keep Ken alive. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, Bro, what are you burst? doing? Okay, Pops, yeah, you gotta burst that. Oh, and he he used the movement tech you were talking about. It. Oh no, he actually gets out in time. Ooh, mm -hmm. that's super. Okay. Oh, that super could be a mistake. We got the unblockable timing. No. Oh, the cross wow. up on incoming with the Duranjo assist. That's nice. I like that. It's meaty. It's a mix up. That's a good, good safe option there. True. And then like if it gets blocked, you have all kinds of options for like jump air dash back overhead. I'm going to I'm going to guess that what Pops was going to do uh, if that did get blocked is just like crouch light into overhead. <laughs> yeah, that's my guess. actually, that that's way smarter. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Pops, he was looking so strong at first, but you know, somehow High Plains Grifter almost brought that one back. Mm -hmm. I don't know how nice. he had a rope already. What did he even get hit by? I didn't even get this. It started off with these big Duranjo combos, bringing him into the corner. He does get out with the teleport, though. Okay. No tap, no conversion. Yeah, Ken's so reliant on the Ryu assist here. That's like his only real way to uh, continue any kind of pressure. Nice. nice. Yeah, I like I like how liberally he uses teleport. It's a uh, it's a cool idea with how to play the character. Ooh, that whiff is so sad. Oh, oh yeah, have whiffs. to burst that for sure. Ken was dead. Ooh, all right, all right. Yeah, forces the burst right back. back. Gets the raw okay tag as well. This is looking pretty good oh, for Grifter if he can figure out some way to avoid. Oh my god, had he burned the kill it off. there with Ryu, and now oh. he is eating all this drug. Oh, oh my god, you hate to see it. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. This is tough. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. The disrespect. Oh. The raw time. Oh no. <laughs> no. Not like this. Oh no. Oh no. He's just a boy. All, All right, right, so well, that's 2-0 for Pops. Yeah, it's it's 2-0. Grifter, oh man, Grifter was on a good pace there in the first game and the second game too, actually, and just couldn't quite close it out. Oh, Yotter? Okay. Yotter won. This is another character he plays. Yotter Joe. Okay, okay. I mean, known top tier character, Joe the Condor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could hit him with the meme move. Mm. Hit, hit him with the Tims. It's not a meme, it's real. 
It, no, it's got, it's real. Seven frames but, of recovery. But, but you made the meme. <laughs> funny, funny joke, man. Funny joke, man. With funny joke shoes. I like this red and black Yotter one though. He's, he's swagged out. Ooh, <laughs> jump! Wow, Sniperino. Trade. Ooh, sniper, no sniping. Yeah, this oh is my actually, God. actually a good way to deal with the Duranjo. Because oh, oh, what if? Oh, no. What if? Oh no! Imagine. That... Oh, imagine. Yeah, uh, Pops really wanted that one. That would have been pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, the butt. Oh my God. Pops oh. getting another reset. Good raw tag to get out of the situation. Tags the reset. Very nice. Good idea. Oh, nice. Clips him with the low. Oh, the, the double resets. It's so... Cr Where is all this damage oh. coming from? <laughs> Going for that strategy, you know. Just a couple hits. Couple yeah, hits he here, never does anything there. higher than, like, a three-hit combo. And yet, he's, like, nearly killed the character. If this, if you like this type of gameplay, you can follow Pops on Twitter. Because he posts hella clips of himself dropping combos over and over, and over again. <laughs> it's not. It's a calculated reset. Oh, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's a reset. Ooh, he's shooting him. Nice. Good for road conversion into level three. Oh, oh no! that oh. is not good. I respect oh. the effort to try and turn that into a combo there. You know, he had a little bit of an awkward start. Used the Baroque, tried to go into level three early to make it uh, more reliable, but still didn't get it, unfortunate. Got her one applying this Genki Dama pressure, but uh-oh. Has to burst that. Things are not looking good for High Plains Grifter. Oh my gosh, the <laughs> oh! almost had it. All right, here oh, comes Yotter Wan. Yeah, Spitting hot it. fire like Dylon, but. <laughs> oh I God. like the call tones that are grabbed behind you for disrespect and then punish. Well, that was, uh, that yeah. was also certainly a match. Very well played by Pops. Yeah. High Plains Grifter, looked... he had some spots that just did not quite come together. Yeah, that third game looked a little more firmly in Pops' favor. Uh, yeah. The first two games, Grifter was right in there, had some really good chances, had a couple really nice moments, but uh, couldn't quite make it work in any of the games. It ends up getting 3-0'd uh, by Pops. Yeah, but we're going to be moving back to, I believe, Winner's Side. Uh... Yes, this should be Winner's Side. We're going to be seeing Buku versus Dawa Dawa. We talked about this earlier. This is, uh, yeah, two of our strongest players here and also two uh, very committed tier pickers. Right? <laughs> uh, we have Blade Ryu versus Zero Ryu, uh, which are, if you're looking to get into TVC and you want to have like a nice, easy time, those are some teams that you could consider looking into. I, somehow I just have this <laughs> irrational thing where even though I know Blade is top tier, he always feels like the underdog to me. I'm like, oh I'm like, come on, look at this little robot. He's trying his best. Absolutely not. No, I've I mean, okay, too if many he's, blades if he's fighting, if he's finding normal characters, it's like fine. He's OP. But if he's fighting zero, you know, he has to work, right? So here's the thing. I've been thinking about this recently and with zero, like, if you hit zero, at least you can explode him, right? Like, with that my team, true. I can TOD zero at the start of the round. And I'm like, all right, I got a chance. Blade, I have to hit that guy, like, four yeah. times. And he is okay. on the other side of the screen throwing lances. And then suddenly he's way over there, and I'm getting hit by an assist. And that's ah, stupid. I, can't I just, what can I say? I just like, I like robots. I like Sentinel. Except, you know, it, it, I guess Zero's a robot. I don't like him, but I like Sentinel. I like Tekka Blade. I like these guys. I just feel like, you know, they... Uh, Bro, that's ever racist. Ever since Marvel 3, I felt like... Uh... Yeah. I mean, you know, I don't think there are too many people who like Zero other than, uh, you know, Zero Pickers. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. Tekka Blade, you know, he's working, he's working hard out there. Why does Zero yeah, Pickers like sound like a slur? <laughs> bro, bro, chill. Uh... <laughs> But uh, like, yeah, Blade is, is a cool character though. He's got like such dynamic movement and uh, like really neat sort of different zoning type things that he does compared to a lot of zoning characters in this game. It is really fun to watch him, even if uh, he is a strong boy. He is, he, he is kind of uh, the Virgil of this game. You know, if we're gonna force all these, all these uh, similes here. No, let's do it. <laughs> he's got, he's got Rapid Slash. He's got Helm, Helm Splitter. He's got absolutely no ability to like remain safe when a normal is blocked. 
Yeah, there's a strong start. You're getting in. You're gonna have relaunches. Yep. Okay, go. Oh, and the fourth, fourth back roll. Very nice. He's so consistent with those now. Ooh! You're gonna have to. Oh, tried to burst bait there, maybe? Wow, actually just gets in with a vertical teleport. Lock. Oh, the launch. <laughs> All right, Raw Tag is going to get zero out of the Ooh. situation. Look at this huge chunk of red Ow. on Blade. It's all about to get lost here. Just Firm. kidding. Hey, are you going to tag? Oh, oh no, it's chipped out. This is tough for Ryu, but he does get the burst out of Dawa Dawa. Wait yeah, a minute. Ooh, Dawa Dawa was going for an unblockable there, I believe, but the push block ruined it. This is actually a pretty good situation for Buku. He has the meter this is, advantage. This is definitely doable. He needs yes. Yeah. Yeah, he takes out the Ryu, uh, the zero, sorry, and then uh, the Ryu's gonna be coming in, and it's an even game. Yeah, Slightly in Buku's sudden. favor, meter wise. This is this is the uh, the canonical pro tag matchup. The Satsui no Hado being tapped into here. All right, what's the combo selection here from Buku? Yeah, call. just let it drop. Dawa Dawa choosing not to burst because he knows that the next combo is the one that's really going to matter. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he uses the Baroque. I think he was, uh, didn't quite confirm that that push block had come up. Okay, yeah, he's going to have to burst this one. Oh, he tried to burst bait again. Perhaps getting a little <laughs> the bit throw. Whoa! He's trying to win it without getting bursted. That's, that's the point. <laughs> the right? ultimate. I'm doing two hits. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh! That doesn't work. Oh, it does work? Or Are you kidding it? me? Or Wait, what? what? I what? guess he's out of range. I'm not exactly sure. That is crazy. I got to go back and check the footage on that. Why does that, is that I, I think he might have just been too far away, uh, but... I'm really not sure. <laughs> Buku's in chat saying, wait, that worked? <laughs> <laughs> Just as surprised as I was. All right, well, that's good to know. All right, we got this classic low-tier underdog, Tekaman Blade. He's trying. Oh, my, look at my man struggle. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got the armor. Why did he get that? Why did he get it? Oh, I, I, can, I can only maintain this facade for so long. <laughs> but look, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, you gotta burst that. Ooh. Nice his block 2M, on the, the range on his 2M is really cracked too. I know the 2M. And he's got, he's got good combo into full combo at too. any distance. Yeah, okay, maybe this character is a little bit cursed. <laughs> as much as it pains me to admit it. Wait, actually, you know, I was saying earlier, Tekka Blade's a robot. He's not a robot at all, right? What am I He's talking about? He's a, a guy. Yeah. I'm impressed you held your tongue and didn't. He definitely didn't looks like a robot, though. I didn't even think of it. I was like, yeah, I he's know, a yeah. <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a guy in like a Gundam suit, but here comes Ryu. Whoa. Weird anti cross up. Buku off to an even stronger start in this game now. Really uh, putting on a click with Blade. Nice oh, TP. Yes. Yeah, again, this is another situation where you're down a character, but the, the position is not so bad. Oh, that's kind of bad. That is not great. Oh, he's expecting the burst. Straight, Straight into eight. super, so you can't burst it. But you Straight can't DHC eight. out of this super, right? No. You can't DHC out of cinematics in this game. Oh! Wow. Misconfirmed. Good punish? Yeah, take the punish. Sure. He's gonna let it rock, I guess. Has faith in the Ryu. Oh, I can't believe he burned Baroque on that. Oh, maybe a little bit questionable because now the comeback factor is going to be a lot tougher. Although with four meters, you might be able to kill in one hit with level three combo. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he should be able to... Oh, he would be able to kill in, in one hit at four meters there, but uh, the, the first one to come in... Four, <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, everything's fine. Don't panic. 36 seconds on the clock. He's got a little bit of Baroque now. Nice tech! <laughs> oh my god. Oh! <laughs> now you got zero meters. Wait a minute. That one, that one can still do this. Oh, there goes the Baroque. Oh my god. Oh! The DP. So bold. Oh no, he's dead! Oh my god, he did it. Brought it all the way back with the pixel health Ryu here. Not quite real pixel health, but uh... 
but takes it. The patience, the pa- Can we talk about that throw tech? That was so <laughs> the sick. super jump height throw tech. Yeah. I know. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, that's one one. Yep, that this, is one one. This matchup's taking ten years off my life right now. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, nice cross. Nice. What the heck? I, he got hit, right? Is that yeah, right? Yeah, he traded. Oh, yeah. almost had the unblockable reset there. That's the other thing. Check oh, Man Blade, because no. of his jump 2C, can unblockable reset anywhere on the screen from Super Jump Fight. <laughs> Tech Man Blade absolutely shredded Zero's HP, but all of a sudden, Dawa Dawa does have the momentum, and maybe he, out can, of there. he can get Zero out of the situation, maybe. Oh, uh, you got, got him. Back that. Hope you weren't pressing something. All right, this character is kind of <laughs> cheap. I'll admit it. Now, what's the incoming mix on Ryu? He might have broken a lock rule available as well. Couldn't see which side he was coming out there because uh, Zero disappeared. Almost had the burst bait. Yeah, that was like the first time where he didn't actually do like a five head burst bait. Or he might have been trying. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, Scoops him out of that. All right, for the, for the first time, I'm I'm not really seeing the Ryu come back here simply because of the meter economy. My man doesn't have a lot to work with, which is going to make it really hard against an opponent with two bursts on deck. Oh, there's the unblockable. He needs it. He needs oh, right it. into it's level, level three. three, unburstable. Yeah, nice nice awareness. Gets the uh, level three right before Dawa Dawa gets the two meters for burst. That should be enough to kill. Buku going up 2-1. How are you feeling about that Tekka Man Blade? Is he, is Man, he working really this, hard out here? Look at this <laughs> low-tier hero. This is incredible. It's really impressive the way that he's managing to take, you know, maybe a little bit yeah. of an underdog character, that character you don't really expect to see winning. Making and the character look really good. He, you know? he is. He's making the character look top tier. <laughs> it's crazy. <Whoa. laughs> I wonder how how he does that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, really Zero throwing out pizza cuts. Oh, speaking of two M's that are uh, very long reaching. Yeah. Oh, doesn't quite get the, uh, the relaunch. Nice movement here from Dawa Dawa. Staying unpredictable, so important. You don't want to just be all out offense the whole time. He's running away, charging Buster. Yeah, Look and I mean, this is the Dawa Dawa we're used to seeing, right? I'm gonna charge Buster. I'm gonna run away until Ooh. you get Buster. There you go. Okay, two hits, zero damage. Forces the burst out of effect. That's for himself. Oh, that could be big damage. A uh, cross the counter again, going back into the corner. Yeah, he has burst available, but he might want to save it here. Not gonna be a kill or anything. Wow, nice, Thanks. nice. Yup, yup, yup. We like to see it. All right, now you got to chase the roll. Okay, guess is wrong a little bit, but still not so bad. So close to catching Zero with that assist there. Didn't quite get the confirm. Oh, it looked like he had the bait. It looked like he was waiting for it. Not quite though. Didn't have the uh, the confidence. A little oh, bit too God. high for that DP broke there. Ryu, Ryu's got the boot, man. We've been talking about the about the Tims on Joe the Condor, but Ryu, I oh, mean. Yeah. My man's out here putting Dr. Doom to shame with this foot. <laughs> Look at that. A big old stinky foot. He does, and it hits on both sides. <laughs> That's crazy. Just, uh, you know, just boys being dudes out here. Protagonist battle, two reuse with uppercut type assists. Uh-oh, that's bad. Yeah, you gotta burst that. Huge chunk of red available for Buku, but uh, there is burst on nice. Dawa Dawa's side. I have to imagine he's gonna burst. He's gonna burst. Oh, zero gonna holding things. Ah, oh, DP broke. Let's go. Make sure that he has was... no options. All of a sudden, Buku could put away with this whole match if he can get a nice clean hit here on Zero, who has no Good burst hit. available. Mm hmm. Are you on just a pixel? Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. He's probably gonna go for DP Baroque, I have to imagine. Yeah. Oh, nice! Oh, Very scratches him. The Ryu is out. Techman Blade coming in. No meters on either side. Oh my gosh, he got the hit. I think. Yeah, ah! he missed. Actually, missed the unblockable timing there, but then Buku stopped blocking. All right, screen locked at an angle here. Oh, he raw Whoa. supers, and it gets blocked. Him. Very ah. nice. All right, we're staying alive. We're tying it up 2-2. Dawa Dawa versus Buku. 
isn't this how I imagined it would be? You We're know, going to game five, players. baby. The classic. Let's oh, go. Baby. I. It's so funny that like two teams of like top tier character plus top tier mm -hmm. assist. Like all, yeah. this is actually somehow some of the hypest action we've seen all day. I'm not yeah. tired of watching these characters. Ooh, throwing oh, throwing lances. Catches him. Oh, sniping assist too. Let's go. All right, watch out for this unblockable. Yeah. Catches the two M though. The burst, early burst. Double out of that fireball. All right, both players zero meters. Oh, this is gonna be huge damage. No burst yeah. available. Spends the Baruch to make sure he doesn't build that meter back. Only one meter now. Gets to go for. Oh, misses the timing on the mix up. Was going yeah. for the empty load. That was kind of a nasty setup. He just mistimed it a little bit, but he is. Oh, oh there it is. Unblockable reset anywhere on the screen from launch height. Why not? Uh, he needs oh. it. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I'm thinking this I character uh, is pretty fair, you know, <laughs> looks good to me. <laughs> oh my wait, god! Wait a wait the a minute, huge jump C! Oh it? my, he, yeah, he burnt the Baroque. The yep, yep, yep. You don't want to eat that much Baroque. He was just waiting to see if he spent that Baroque before he spent the burst right back. Now Tekken Man Blade is looking pretty good. I am a little surprised that he burnt the red life there because now it's kind of hard to imagine a path to victory. But, you know, he is going to get another Baroque here. Into yep. super. Does kill off the Tekka Man Blade. Uh, he's got a pretty significant health disadvantage here. Oh, <laughs> man, the classic mix up, though. Oh, tackle. nice DP. DP out. Yep. Both players with Baroque available and soon going to be burst on both sides as well, so. <laughs> it's definitely Cautious, coming down dude, to the oh! now you So hard to shit. go in now is Dawa Dawa. Oh my God, Burns so his last shock. Baroque. There it is. Yeah, that should be game. It's on pixel health there. Even if he, that's invincible, even if he blocks it, he gets chipped out. Nice one to Buku. Manages to take the set three two over Dawa Dawa and move on into uh, winners finals. I want to say against all odds, the Tekka Man Blade comes out victorious. We love to see it. We love to see it. And so, yeah, uh, winners. He's... Winners He's gonna finally. have to fight the matchup again against Zero. <laughs> against Omega Zero, yeah. He's gonna have to fight that Zero again. I mean, you know, this is how it works, right? You get to the end of the tournament, you gotta fight some top tiers. They filter, you know, the 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 cream filters to the top. I mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, the Separate wheat. the cream from the chaff. Yeah, the wheat, the, the cream from the, I don't think there's cream in chaff. <laughs> I gotta go look this up. <laughs> this I, this is where yeah, we I separate the men from the cream. There. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we're getting PG-13. That's God, dangerous. Get canceled. <laughs> yeah, bae. All right. Up next, we have Omega Zero versus Buku, though, like we mentioned. Yeah, Omega Zero has kind of been a problem for everybody so far. Everyone's yes. struggling to deal with the experience level. Yeah, and like a super aggressive playstyle. We saw it with the um, we saw it with the uh, Volnut. We also saw it with the Zero, uh, where it's just like constant pressure. He just wants to pressure, pressure, pressure constantly. Mm -hmm. And we'll see if Buku's able to. Uh, I know Buku likes to sit back, throw some lances, uh, pick his spots to to get mix-ups in the, in the safe situation. We'll see if he can uh, generate that space for himself and uh, and find some spots. Or maybe. Uh just do a light hand mirror, right? It could happen. Just do light hand, yeah. Hey, buddy, you want to do some light hand mirrors? <laughs> hey, buddy. Uh, <laughs> wouldn't it be a funny meme if we played a prank on the con? <laughs> and did yeah. light hand mirrors. But yeah, thanks again, everybody who came through for checking it out. Uh, this is boot camp. We're getting ready for combo breaker. Uh, I am Dr. Science. This is JM Crofts. Here Happy to be here. Melee. Uh, watch some Tatsunoko versus Capcom. We hope you're enjoying it. We've seen some good matches so far. We have a match arena. If you want to help support, there's uh, there's codes for it. You can also contribute money in other ways. Uh, there's a match arena command to chat if you want to see that. Otherwise, sit back, relax, enjoy. Um, you know all the all the Tatsunoko versus Capcom action we have for you. We are coming up on winners finals here, um, and then we're going to be going down and checking out losers semis, losers finals, and then uh, grand finals at the end of the day. So we're we're coming down to the end of the tournament here, but we've seen some good matches already. 
Yeah, I think that, you know, I always have a certain expectation for the hype levels of these tournaments and they uh, mm -hmm. they never fail to deliver. And, and guys, you know, I would I would never ask you guys to spend real money on the stream, you know. We are we're proud to provide this to you for free. But if if you click the little subscribe button and it says prime available, use that prime for matchstick melee. Help our boy out and use the matcharino code cuz that's free too. It's free money. It's free real estate. Yeah. Yeah. Did absolutely. you guys know that if, if you don't use your Prime sub, you're putting money directly in Jeff Bezos's <laughs> pocket and he doesn't need it. He doesn't need the money. He's doing fine. So take That's take the money mad. out of his pocket. Use up that Prime sub, guys. If you can go to space one last time. All right. We can. Yeah. <laughs> right, everybody take your take your five dollars out of Jeff Bezos' pocket. Keep him here on Earth. So we can find him. <laughs> I, actually, I, I heard that if we all Prime sub, uh, he'll be able to afford uh, flying to space, but he won't get the return trip. Ooh. He won't be able to afford the return trip, so Ooh. we can just leave him there. You just leave him in space? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're getting news that there is going to be no light hand mirrors, which I think is the correct choice. That is good. I'm afraid not, fella. <laughs> There's an offer for PTX mirrors, but I don't think that's going to happen either. Yeah, I mean, PTX mirrors aren't even funny. It's just weird. P PTX, I actually think is like, you know, there, there's some... When the game first came out, a lot of people wanted to ban the Giants just because they were kind of like boring and they you have to play a very yeah, lame yeah. play style to beat the Giants. But PTX is kind of exciting. PTX is kind of a dynamic character. PTX, I mean, especially in matches where he's up against like a, a, a strong PTX counter, right? Like your Tekka Blades and stuff. The matches get really interesting. They can get really, really interesting. They can. All right, we're yeah, seeing I mean, the hover. This would be... <laughs> if he PTX, wants to go yeah, for it, picking he can. PTX into Tekka Blade is maybe the ballsiest <laughs> thing that uh, yeah. is possible. When we talk game. about good PTX counters, that's that's public enemy number one. Yeah, right there is Tekka Man Blade. I uh, mean, why are, why are we even playing these games, man? Why? Listen, we all know what's gonna happen here. Why are we? Why are we trying to create force artificial drama? That's my job. My job is to inject drama. Not... <laughs> that's the commentator's job. Yeah, Focus not the player. All right, are we going to be Joe seeing the, the Morgan, Morgan, or are we going to see Morgan. the Joe Chun Li? No, probably not. It's kind of surprising we have no no Chun Li players. Mothman's not here, and no one else is really playing. Or you know, I I think Chun Li's pretty top tier. Yeah, she's um she's a really good anchor. She's her assist is like super duper good. I would say it's probably top three uh, assists in the game. Imho. Um, but uh, but a little little uh, execution heavy in terms yeah. of the combos. Uh, not a ton of really strong neutral options. Yeah, and especially with the the online factor, it can be a little dangerous to pick a character like that. But also dangerous is going to be this zero combo in the corner. I'm sure he's going to get the relaunch. Oh, goes for a reset oh, and it works. Reset. Yeah, Omega Zero. Both times there, and this is what we talked about, right? He taps air to air or gets the combo and drops it and just like meaty low, meaty low every time, right? Just does, wants, wants to play clean, make sure he doesn't let anything drop, and just keep the pressure going. Oh, nice confirm. He didn't actually get a combo off that alpha counter. Instead, he just chose to sort of reset the positioning back to neutral, but now you're back where you don't want to be. Back in the corner, corner again. Why is Zero so plus, man? <laughs> it's so <laughs> scary. It's like looking like the Little Mermaid. When's it my turn? It's never <laughs> oh, happening. No. He was out of the range of the DP there. Oh, the burst got yeah. baited as well. Yeah. This is this is looking like a slobber knocker. This is fine. Go next. Go next. Yes. Spaghetti is all over the floor. I mean, I'm not gonna completely say Tekka Man Blade can't do it, but no yeah, meters. Tekka Man Blade, I mean, he's he's still a good character solo, but uh, definitely a character who enjoys playing with uh, with an assist. Nice conversion. Oh, goes for the unblockable setup. <laughs> Omega Zero actually gets one hit into burst there. <laughs> Well, you know, it closes it off there. Got uh, was a little ugly through the middle, a little sloppy, and then uh, got ugly again towards the end. But Omega Zero goes up 1-0, <laughs> and uh, see if Buku can uh, tighten up the gameplay a little bit in the second game here. Yeah, that one's a write-off. You know, it's like when you when you spend too much money on like new computer hardware for your stream, you just say, "Oh, it's a write-off." I don't know how taxes work, but let's just say that it is to justify it to ourselves. That game one. Let's just forget that ever happened. 
Oh, he actually lands the stand A from full mash move rage there. I feel like Buku, it seems like he has some level of awareness for when the bursts are going to come. He's just not quite ahead of the game enough to get Oh, nice! Game, wait a minute! Broke. Okay. This is going to be this is gonna be a dead robo-bot if he doesn't draw. I jinxed it! I'm sorry! Okay, okay it's fine. Finishes it off with the match. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Nobody yeah, saw Buku that. Yeah, had the right idea. It seems like he's got a little bit of jitters going on here. Dropped a number of combos. And yeah, again, there's... just like not getting these situations. Ooh, nice big launcher there from Morgan. Yeah, it's one of her really great neutral tools for launch. That 2M no more from Tech No Mega Ooh. Zero here. Ooh, wow, actually so broke, the block. broke and blocked the cross up stab. Did he, did he just combo off Lance or am I bugging? Uh, I don't think he comboed off Lance. Okay. It looked uh, like he did Lance into 2M and it comboed. But there it was some reset. stuff going on there for sure, but uh, Buku. It takes it, evens it up 1-1, one, one, and uh, a match that's won very much back in his favor after a really rough game one. Yeah, I think what we're really seeing, you know, uh, in this game, so much is determined by uh, who gets the first hit and who can build the bursts and use the bursts in the right times. Oh, no. Speaking of, first hit. Okay, Massive Zero, damage. Not going with the Omega Zero burst here. Oh, stays in front. Nice block. I get opened up by that, for sure. Yeah, very tricky. Now he has Baroque available. Okay, good, good push blocks. Oh, that's oh. unfortunate. Just a little bit too much pressure coming out there. Good block, good block, good block. Good blocks, okay. yes. Oh, and can't block that though. Can't block that. No matter how hard you try. <laughs> and now you're gonna eat this. Oh, actually, it's pre-launch mid-screen. Sheesh, man. That is going to be a lot of... Wow. Alpha counter on block. Yeah, Mario. nice. He was up uh, high enough in the air that he wasn't going to get the punish. Oh. The toes get clipped. Might have been trying to there. I like the defense we're seeing from Buku here. He is not, he's not, uh, you know, chomping at the bit too quickly. Yes. DP Baroque. DP Baroque. Uh, Something you got to deal with. That looked like maybe an unblockable attempt, but nothing hey, doing there. Chris right back. All right, there's the unblockable, there, but he it is the out. TV. All right. Very smart stuff from Buku. This is a nice hit from Morgan, but she's not going to be able to get yeah. much off it. And low damage unless you spend a level three. Oh, and there's the GP Baroque again. Doesn't get the conversion, though. Yeah, Tech Command Assist kind of messing up the combo here. I have to imagine Buku's going to want to play a lame and try to get as much red life back on Blade as he can. Oh, front. <laughs> so nice. That uh, mix was dirty. Man. All right, it's one to two. Buku closing out with a really strong replay there. Yeah, I mean, how many DPs did we see? Yeah, I mean, it's it's such a strong option for Ryu. Like most of the time, when you get knocked down, you have Baroque life, which means you can do uh, an invincible reversal that gives you frame advantage, or juggles, everything. It does and it all. We know that one of Zero's big advantages is he's, he's so massively plus, but there's still a gap. You can still, you can still DP during the gap. Buku a little bit slow. Oh, the oh again with that low reset. He's calling Buku out for uh, not blocking his toes there. I don't know if he's holding up back, just holding back. Maybe he's trying to crash intrude or something. I don't know what goes through the minds of Tech Man Blade. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. Very nice blocks there from Buku. <laughs> nice unblockable there, there the from unblock, Omega Zero. Drops the combo, though. Oh, no. Wait, blocking long enough. Might have been a missed push block there. Gets the relaunch. Gonna get the knockdown. All right, trades with the fireball. The boot coming out. Ooh, actually oh, managed to convert with the dash off of that fireball assist. So many meters. Oh, oh, almost had the burst bait. That would have been huge. That is very tragic. Omega Zero did have another burst on deck just in case he needed it. But yeah, he could have yeah. forced another burst though, which would have put him at low health with no more burst meter. But now he has to play two 1v2 yeah. with Mega Man Blade down almost four meters at this point. Pretty major setback here. I don't know if this is going to be possible for Buku, we might see another game five. The mm -hmm. class. We might be seeing it. Oh, Buku with the cross up though. Early burst. Yeah, 
Yeah, gets over that fireball. Another great uh, aspect of Tech Command Blade. Really great mobility around zoning options like that. Oh, actually catches him. That's going to kill Zero off. Okay. Morgan's coming in. Do we have the unblockable? He's just going to keep it full screen. Fair, considering Morgan has burst anyway. Whoa, there goes your, your red life. This is actually doable for Tech Very of Blade. Okay, yeah, lands the hit. He should be able to kill here if he doesn't drop. Can we get El Optimal? You know Buku's good for these, right? Oh, no! <laughs> I'm sorry! I am so sorry. I am so sorry, everyone. I did that. There goes all that red life. Good defense. Good chicken block to get out. Good defense. There wow. it is. Finishes it off with the cross-up, and Buku takes it. Uh, three to one. That was an incredible <laughs> comeback there from Tekka Man Blade. Wow, but let's not forget that was winner's side, so Omega Zero is still gonna have a chance here. Omega Zero heading down to losers. Uh, but first, down to losers, we're gonna get we're gonna see who gets to play Omega Zero, and we're gonna go into the set of James versus Dawa Dawa. This should be a good one. I, I I don't have yeah. the bracket pulled up. Hold on, let me let me see if there's a command. Look there at this, oh guys. I'm, I mean, I'm, guys, look at this. Drop, drop your prime subs for Twitch. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Melee. We I just, a, I just set them up, and we have Dr. a bracket Science command. Them down. We have a match arena command. It's just, I mean, what more could you ask? The future is here. Yeah. So this is this is uh, loser semis then. Winner of this plays Omega Zero. Yep, loser of this or winner of this plays Omega Zero in losers finals. Coming down to it. Coming down, right to, down it. to it. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, you know, some of the same old faces that we saw at uh, TV Corona's past. Some new faces here. Some uh, some different looks from old players. Things like that. It's been a lot of fun. Thank you everyone for uh, for being here with us today. Yes, indeed. All this, all this prep. People, people are in the boot camp. They're doing the obstacle courses. Mm -hmm, They're mm -hmm. cl climbing the the walls. Do they do that at boot camp? They climb a wall. They have to get yeah, over. I, th I think that's a boot camp thing, right? Running laps. Doing Captain up. America has to climb the the flagpole. Yeah. <laughs> he takes the bolt out, knocks the flagpole. I, everything I know about the military, I, I learned from the MCU. So from, from Captain America, the first soldier. <laughs> I, I think, given his solution to the flagpole incident, uh, Steve Rogers' solution to a fighting game would be to reach over and pull his opponent's cable out of the out of the console. <laughs> I mean. Listen, uh, technically, ah. technically <laughs> against maybe the spirit of the competition, but not against uh, the rules necessarily. Do you remember there was like this really old uh, blog post about like how to win, a, uh, how to win your first fighting game tournament? And one of the suggestions was uh, just yell at your opponent. I'm Justin Wong, bitch, even if you're not <laughs> Justin Wong, like just yell it. Another one was like, uh, be as smelly as possible, like to distract mm. them. These are these are the top That's secret technique. Yeah, they don't they don't tell you these uh, <laughs> in the academy. I feel like people don't abuse that one as much anymore these days. No, things are things are definitely turning around when it comes to the hygiene level of tournaments. But uh, Frank West, you know, this guy can be a little nasty in his own way when combined with this roll assist. Roll will try to wash you and keep you clean, but yeah, we Frank didn't get to see a lot of the the Frank West roll in the Omega Zero matchup, unfortunately, for reasons we won't go into. Uh, <laughs> but we are getting to see it here. Always oh, getting opened up right away, though. Getting caught off the knee drop. Oh my Ooh. god, and again with this dive kick. Yeah, poor James, uh, having to fight all these zeros. Mm -hmm. I, pity, I, I, I pity the fool. All right, what's this? Wow, nice air throw. Wow. And the dive kick also taps away the puddle. I hate that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. Raw oh, tag directly. Directly into the waiting arms of zero. Nice combo, man. Yeah. You know, oh, oh, never mind. She's too small, though. Fly swatter. Ooh. Oh, there's the launch. Woo. Wow, such good range on that crossover counter from Frank West. Looked like Ryu kind of messing things up there. He absorbed the uh, shopping ooh. cart. Might feel not so good about that crossover counter at this point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zero with three meters on deck. Combo. Nice Ooh. movement there. 
the pizza cutter, the low. the low. Well, this is a tough situation to get out of. Yeah. <laughs> what, do, what do we call that, chat? We call that the write off, okay? Just write it off. Write it it's off. It's fine. <clears throat> we don't have to talk about that ever again. Listen, at least it wasn't light hand there. A, uh, a smarter man than I once said, first game's always cat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the first, listen, the first three games are just data. You just got to download. We got the DSL. Connect. Wow, the oh cross my up. God. Wait. Oh, the drop. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I was getting yeah, too hyped. I converted it. I mean, that's the thing, you know, it didn't look so good in the first game, but Frank West really needs to land exactly one hit uh, at any this, at any moment. This is actually something that, oh, no, this is bad. It's something that's been on my mind lately are, are, like, how difficult it is to evaluate characters who suck, but they just kill you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, a lot, like, Gold Lewis Dickinson, I feel like, is the newest example. Like, he's uh, yeah, a yeah. bad character, but he does just kill you. And I really think characters like that, even if they're bad, they're still kind of good. Like, Hulk is kind of like that, too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that was the thing about Hulk, right? Everybody was like, ah, not as good as these mobile top-tier characters. And it's like, but he, he just kills you. Yeah, he's kind of bad, but he also just kills you. And that Frank West <laughs> does have that potential, even if we haven't seen it too much so far. Ah, getting a little bit sloppy in these uh, situations. James, ah, oh, dropped the combo, too. You hate to see it. Yeah, it looks like a, a, li a little bit of execution difficulty here from James. He is playing, you know, a, a pretty high precision team here with Frank. You got to make every hit count. Yeah. Zero sitting on four meters. Going to be really hard to get through. Wow, it's an overhead. Oh, going for a lot of jump normals there. Oh, first, first, first on his own to delay the... Try and bait out the um, uh, sort of follow-up combo there and punish it. Whoa, wait a minute. Yep. Wait, wait. Okay. okay. Gotta burst it. It's gonna kill. It's always gonna kill. Oh no, the cross and he How, where did the where did the assist go? I actually have no clue why there was no puddle there. Oh, oh rolls through it! Oh, ah. what if though? What if? Such a great roll though. Perfect timing. Nice, nice throw here yeah. from Roll. Speaking of rolls. If Roll can take out the Ryu, I mean anything. He does possible. have no meter. Got the charge here. James has these combos too. Mm -hmm. Okay, just takes the knockdown. That's already like half health gone on Ryu. Ooh, oh, okay. We got the, got the next hit. Is he gonna burst this? Can burst it here oh no, the drop. Shot. That's so unfortunate. But this is a very close game. Look oh, at this. The roll on. Look at, and don't forget, Roll has the ability to get some HP back too. If, if it comes down to it. time. Unblockable. Yup, yup, yup. Starting to believe. Oh no! Clip your your toes! Oh my gosh, the chip was oh, so the huge! Chip coming! Oh, 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 oh. oh man! Hell of a close game though. It's 2-0 Dawa Dawa. James is gonna have to three in a row this mm. to have a, another bite at the apple of fighting Omega Zero. It's so fun. As a role player, to watch James, it's just great. He is such a great role. Yeah, the uh, the movement, the combos, it was all on deck there, but at the end of the deck... Wow, nice slide. Yeah, nice watch little thing there cross from Frank, up, but... Gonna have to burst that. Zero's putting you in the corner. What? Did the shopping cart hit for you? <sighs> that dive kick from Zero is really Ooh. something else. Nice! Yeah, the nice is allows you to convert off of the uh, the knee drop like that. Oh, oh now he's double overhead. First available for the first time. He's getting a fatty combo and not mm, gonna get. Hit. There it is. There it is. What? <laughs> Help into his own zombie. <laughs> yep. Didn't quite have the setup right there, but uh, Ooh, it's Watch open up low. Gonna let the Frank rock. Roll coming in. Yeah, yeah, this should be pretty even, even, although there is burst available for Ryu. I like the use of Baroque, preventing some of that meter gain. James had a pretty nice roll game last game. We'll see if he can do it again. Nice! Sniping air to air Whoop. into the wall bounce. Oh, oh he's trying to go for the mid. What if? Launch with Baroque. 
That combo is hard. All right, burst is down. This is definitely winnable for both players. Ooh! There's the double overhead. Or really? I thought. Oh, I was sure. That would have been close. If you went for the. Uh, oh! there. This is. Ooh, the stagger pressure. The puddle. Ooh, nice blocks. The sh oh, the oh my movement. god. Accidental input, it looks like. Level That's one, very bad. Yeah. No Baroque. To punish. Gonna have to burst. Ooh, oh, slippery. it's low. There is the tiniest amount of Baroque here for Dawa. Oh! Wow. Oh! And the two-piece in the air. Air to air with the jump light into swing, and James gets on the board. Let's go. It kind of it kind of felt like that had no right being as close as it was, considering how Zero got yeeted, deleted, like <laughs> ten seconds in. But yeah. that was some good Ryu play from Dawa Dawa. But James with the roll does close it out. Yep. It seems like if James can get like an even situation when Roll comes in, then uh, he's pretty good at those matchups. But there have just been too many times where Frank dies quickly and then Roll has to be forced into yeah, a comeback. I mean, situation. Frank versus Zero in the neutral is a struggle, as, as you can see. Oh, does get or, the hit, though. Or is it? And another burst coming out, so he's going to have to land another hit here. Oh my god. Oh, doesn't get the follow up. He could have got red card there. Wow, that was such an awkward cross-up situation that he was in. Both players having to burn burst there. Frank West pretending to be his owner. Throwing a bunch of stuff on the screen. <laughs> Look at Zero's HP though. Just stray hits. He's taking this much. Stray hits. He has a low health character. That's what I was talking about earlier. You know, at the very least, he actually does have low health. Yeah, and each time Zero bursts, you know, he is taking out a pretty big amount of his own HP. I, I love that uh, James just ran away there. When, when Zero's up in the sky above you, you kind of don't want to be in that position because, ooh, nice, nice tag. tag. Ooh! Mm -hmm. gonna yeah, I got to burst that one. Keep the zero level. Oh, ah! Unreflected fireball. Let's go. What is this mix? Oh, my God. I could not see what was happening Woo. there. Is it? We got relaunches. Yeah, corner relaunch. Oh, there it is. Nice. Oh, another, another one. one. Yep. Are you kidding me? The mix! Oh, oh but that's a fat cross-up. The stanky mm. leg. Okay, gets one of the one of the power-ups on deck. That's 5%. 5% damage boost for roll for sweeping up the puddle. Uh, I'm sure she's gonna need it considering <laughs> Ryu is Oh! Say cheese! Oh, tried to punish there. <laughs> Ryu taking the, the tiniest amount of hit stun from the Say Cheese Assist. Ooh, Ooh yeah, you gotta burst that. Right away. Again, Frank can go Frank can go infinite from those. Good patience here Ooh. from James. Wow, that huge amount of red is gone now. Stagger from the roll assist. James about to bring this to game five. There it That's is! Her. Another game five situation. Let's go. Let's go. Found his footing, you know, after two difficult games at the beginning, kept his mental tough and uh, brought it back to 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of the same situations repeat here. You know, James getting a hit early, getting bursted, and then having that very difficult climb to get another hit. But he didn't even need it last time because all those stray hits added up on zero. Oh, the pizza cutter. Oh, zombie from off screen hits Ryu, though. Unfortunate. Uh, oh, the puddle's still there. Nice shopping cart setup. Yeah, take the pressure off the cart. Woo! Woo! Oh, doesn't get the jump speed. I thought that was working for sure. Zombie's coming in off screen. Watch out. He's still coming at you. Oh, hits the jump speed that time. Also, the fireball gets hit afterwards. So. Yeah, no meter getting built here for James. Or, uh, yeah, no no meter for burst, and he's just eating huge damage from the Baroque. You have another chance, though. Oh. <laughs> the classic like, mix up. Yeah. Now, Roll has an uphill battle similar to what we saw in the first two games. 
yeah, Dawa Dawa looking really solid here with three meters on deck and two mostly full characters. Oh, and the burst whiffs, but <laughs> you not hate to see it. Stubby buttons coming into play there for roll. Ooh. That's an unblockable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Relaunch. Dawa Dawa has definitely been working on uh, some of these new unblockables for Zero. Uh, things like Stand Light unblockable or Stand Heavy unblockable. Oh, that's gonna be it. Here it is. Dawa Dawa says, nope, I am taking this set. Thank you very much. Moving Very on. convincing game three. And uh, something that we didn't see a lot back in the day, we're about to have a Zero Mirror. Are you kidding me? We're gonna have a Zero Mirror in Losers Finals. Oh, what are the odds? Let's yeah, go. Okay. <laughs> and then the winner, you know, the winner is going to have to fight the eternal underdog, Tech Man Blade. Tech Man Blade, yeah. I mean, I, it's just really incredible what Buku has done with that character. <laughs> Bring it all the way to grand finals. <laughs> oh, all right, mm. let's pull up the game. I have nothing to say about that. Yeah. I feel like I've not, dug my hole deep enough with the. Yeah, no, not to discourage board. anyone who wants to play this game, though. It's not like the tiers are so crazy in this game, you can't do anything about Tech Man Blade, but he is very, uh, very, very strong. And the thing is, like, Zero and Tekka Blade are, are both super top tier, but there's a lot of other really broken characters. I mean, we've oh, seen yeah. Beautiful oh, yeah. Joe. We've seen Yotter 1 and Yotter 2 are kind of incredible. Like, mm -hmm. there are a lot of good characters in this game. Uh, really and Chun Li, like we said, no Chuns in this tournament, but she's a crazy good character. We haven't seen any tech commands. We haven't seen any Sakis, which is crazy. Yeah, Saki also like a near top tier character. Yeah, there are just. A ton, a ton of viable characters. You know, it's kind of like like Marvel 3 a bit. There's a lot of characters who can hang, even if there are some that are a, a little better than everyone else. Yeah, yeah, for sure. There's no there's no Shenkos in this game. No, nah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's Lytan, which... There is Lytan, that's true. Yeah, get him out of here. Uh, yeah. Put him, in, uh, I, put him in the trash. <laughs> I'll never forgive Capcom for what they did to Shenko, man. Why they, why they make my girl slow like that? I mean, her so it's like, how, how are you going to bring her from Vampire Savior and take away abilities that she had in Vampire Savior? I know. You can't even Marvel... Pendulum cancel anymore? Come on. Uh, Marvel 3 Come is supposed on. to be like the, the fast, crazy, powerful game. For more options, not less. I don't nice. know. What you're doing. <clears throat> but yeah, we're going to be getting in there with uh, Omega Zero versus Dawa Dawa. Classic matchup. We've seen this a few times. Now the real question is: Are we going to see any kind of any kind of bait? Oh yeah, Omega Zero <laughs> did say want to collude with Lytan. Dawa Dawa says no! Exclamation point! Exclamation point! Exclamation mm -hmm, point! Mm -hmm. Good call, Dawa yeah, Dawa. Can... He's got a good head on his shoulders. You know? <laughs> yeah. That's you got to know how to avoid all kinds of mix-ups in these games. Shenko and Lytan are both gold. That's a good point. It's, it's a very when, important. When Shenko uh, gets armored up. Oh, true. Maybe that's that's probably what they based it on, because you know, Gold Lightan has no, no, no. She gets time armor. She gets Oni mode. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, true. true. <laughs> that's why it's not any good. I mean, Oni is banned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, uh, no Kaijin, no Soki today either. All right, yeah. we are seeing the Joe. The Jose the Condor. Yeah, Joe the Condor coming out from uh, Omega Zero. He was going with the Morgan earlier, but uh, I guess he wants uh, wants this Joe the Condor for this. All right, let's see round start. What's it going to be? Yeah, both of them go uh, air to air. Dawa Dawa in the green. Omega Zero going to be in the purple. Alright, Dawa Dawa lands the first real hit. Yep. Gonna get the relaunch. Oh no, drops it. You jinxed him again, Bill. Jinxed him again, I'm sorry. I've been doing it. I'm out here cursing everyone today. Omega right. Zero lands a hit right back. Does he have the relaunch? Yes. Oh yeah. Back and the ghost low. This setup looking so clean there. Okay, wait a minute. Forcing a burst out of Omega Zero here. And, ooh! He's in the front. Now he forces another burst. A questionable burst this time. Yeah, the classic Omega Zero oh. burst. There was the launcher. launcher. 
We were talking about it. Yeah, such a great option. Joe the Condor, no meter. Very no fast, meter. really high hitbox. <laughs> just presses a button yeah, with his yo, back to the Yeah, he's Baroque and he should die, right? Uh, he should be dead here. Look at this combo, too. Ooh, fancy this. Oh, drops it. My turn to jinx it. He had to go for a, d a difficult combo there to make that happen. Uh, the zero mid-screen extensions are a little more fiddly than the corner ones. Ooh, we're going oh, for yeah, chip. for chip. I feel Very like we've good. seen that a lot today. We've seen the the zero super just to uh, close out that last hit. It's Dollar really Dollar. it's really good for that. I mean, it covers the whole screen up to super jump height, and uh, he's invincible up until the hit. And, yeah, and can't zero be hit, and then you still get hit by the projectile? Uh, he can DHC out, and it still comes out. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. keeps him just completely safe. But he is actually invincible all the way up through the projectile coming out. Wow. So you actually can't hit him before it comes out. Cursed. All right, raw tagging in Ryu. Just trying to reset the momentum here, but we got clips. Drop. Trying to go for that extension there. Nice. I, I really like the alpha counter there because you know you're probably gonna get unblockable. If yeah, he just had... goes for that burst in the air. Puts himself down to one meter. Does land the follow up hit though. So decision looking all right. Nice. Trying to escape the corner here is Dawa Dawa. Oh. Cross on <laughs> oh, Ryu tanking the hit from the assist. Oh no. Dawa definitely down on life here. He's gonna wanna try and find a way to get that Ryu in soon. Gonna take some chip first though. Going for some zoning tactics here. Yeah, and I mean look how much health zero left lost on Omega Zero. Oh there. geez. That's bad. You are certainly gonna have to burst. Yeah. Mega Zero big up on meter at this point. Ooh, there's one burst down. There's one burst. One more of those, and you're in a good spot. Nice, another. Counter. Yeah, and there it is. Likes bursting in the air to keep his momentum going. There it is, Ooh. though. The Zero is dead. Not going to tie no burst. Surprised. So if he can get a, another big Baroque with all this red life, he's going to be it's able to throw a huge all dent in Joe the Condor. Are we going to see it? Oh, oh no, no. There, there's the burst. Now, literally zero meter. Nice back throw. That's what you do against that. Oh, jeez. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. No fanciness this uh, time. Uh, uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice. Dawa Dawa taking it clean. Nice and clean. Going up 2-0 in the set. Uh, yeah, I mean, he, he just looks like he's got a solid head on his shoulders here. He's not... He, he's not cracking under the pressure if Omega Zero gets a hit or two. He's just mm -hmm, fighting through mm -hmm. it. I really like the use of Alpha Counter as well. It's getting him out of a lot of bad situations when he's blocking It's a good option it. against Zero. Zero a character who has lots of like long multi-hitting normals, so it can be hard for him to deal with Alpha Counter. All right, you are stuck in the corner here, but nice. It's a hit, forces an early burst out of Omega Zero. Yeah, the next hit could be huge here. Oh, and he even hits him yeah, out of the back. there it is. Cutter. More big Baroque damage coming in here. Nice combo. Oh, drops the combo. Still no burst available for Omega Zero. Oh, okay, lands the hit here. What? What? Sir? I missed it again. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. Wow, he almost got the super jump to get over the super, but I guess it would have been safe. Again, move. All right, just going to try and chip a little bit here. Gets hit. Uh -oh. oh no, oh no, Dawa Dawa. That's a lot of good life. Three meters. Now he doesn't have any first. Yeah, here comes Ryu. If he can swiftly. Wow, nice setup. Wow. Drops the combo though. That cool he extension and everything. Ooh. There's the hit. Rolls forward out of the corner. Anti air somehow. Wow. I'm not going to question that. Okay, just needed the chip there. Zero had bursted himself down the chip like. Oh! oh, oh almost oh, had oh. it. The unblockable off the DP, but doesn't finish it. I got that crouch light instead hard. of that stand light. Yeah, and now Omega Zero is going to get a burst, which is very unfortunate. He might not even need it, Should though. Should be able to kill here. Oh, had the drop three! This is punishable. That You're is gonna have to get punished first. He just didn't. Uh... Wait, that's not punishable? I don't, oh no, he, he recovers in the air. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Chad. I lied. He just got mixed up on the ground there. 
Wait! Well, burst. Yeah, that's a full combo off I of smell that. a DP. I... Ooh! Excellent conversion there from Omega Zero to close it out. Guns into dash forward, light, light. Whew, I really thought we were going to see DP Baroque. That's what I was waiting for, but yeah, right. Omega Zero gets one on the board. This, I mean, we might just have another another nail biter down to the wire match. Our our like fifth or sixth one of the day. Nice first hit. That Going for down. a hard combo. And it going early here. It's the relaunch. Yeah, we have Ryu assist ready available again. Oh my gosh, the force it's tech tackle. roll. And he just goes, runs away back to neutral. He's found that the projectile game has worked pretty effectively against Omega Zero. Oh, almost. Ah, could have had a conversion there. You can actually link off those double level one busters. And so again, we didn't quite have it ready though. This is such a bad position for Omega Zero though. He's Ooh, got yeah, no burst left. Just a sliver Baroque here from Dawa Dawa, enabling to, him to prevent the uh, the burst from yeah, generating wow. here. Drop the combo, but he has the pressure in the corner. Okay, nice. The defensive throws from Omega Zero are very effective in all these zero situations where he ends up close to you. Oh, yeah, stagger! A lot of these situations where he is close to you and either zero or plus one or minus one, something like that. And it's very hard to play against him. And the throw's a really good option. Another Sogen. I love this option from Dawa Dawa. It's just looked like such an effective way of shutting down Omega Zero's neutral. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if he just does it again. Oh, Buster from the other side. All that red life gone on Joe the Condor. Dawa Dawa looking like he's about to put himself into Grand Finals here. Yeah, just holding up back, saying, if you want me, come and claim me. Throwing out the Buster shots. Oh, the Ryu coming in. He had finally weathered the Sogen move, blocked out the one more Buster. He was trying to go in, but Ryu comes through with the classic Hadouken to finish it off. Very, very clean stuff from Dawa Dawa. I honestly think that the, the Sogen move was such a smart way to approach the matchup because he saw that every time he activated it, you know, he might not be landing combos. He's pretty much just running away pitching projectiles but yeah. all these little hits and even the chip it adds up and he did end mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. taking the match so that's going to put him into grand finals yeah that gives us our grand finals everyone we're going to have a run back of uh buku and dawa dawa which was actually from winner's semis not from winner's final right wow so which means know? buku has had to play three consecutive sets against zero <laughs> <laughs> we love to see it we love, to, love see it. to see it <clears throat> Yeah, we're gonna have the the classic top tier matchup. None of none of these new school teams with all these weird characters like Kaijin no Soki and Beautiful Joe. No, we got the old school only. Zero and Tekaman Blade and and Ryu. <laughs> these are the characters we like to see. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Tekaman Blade, Ryu and Zero Ryu. I mean, I was talking. There was somebody who. Uh... Getting invalid host. Here. I am also getting invalid host. Okay. okay. Uh, Obi Wan, if you're in the chat there, we need like a different code, I guess. I don't know. Um, or actually, I should just put it in here. Huh? Um, but yeah, somebody was like new in the chat the other day. And like, hey, what you know? What's what's uh, a team that uh, I should I should try and play? And it's like yeah, just pick your favorite character, put Ryu in the back, <laughs> call it a day. <laughs> Ryu is a character who I mean, like I I normally don't play. I obviously would never pick Ryu in like Marvel Two or Marvel Three or anything like that. Uh, but in this game, he's so cool. He's so cool in this game. Uh, you know, I, I I do play Ryu in Marvel 2. Um, you pay, pick Zangief, like all kinds of silly stuff. The the thing with Ryu is that he has literally nothing interesting in Marvel 2. Yeah. He yeah, has nothing right? fun or interesting. He just has like a level one super that is very damaging and safe. That's the, that's the only thing. Yeah. <laughs> and he has an invincible DP super. He's like the most boring character in that game, but I still like him. Yeah. In this game, he's very cool. A lot of mobility, a lot of cool mix-up options, huge damage, great assists. Like, just such a such a fun character to play. Really easy to learn, too. 
because it's got kind of the basics. You learn all the basics, right? You know, you get one wall yeah. bounce. You do a string into wall bounce. You do a string into special into baroque. You do a string into special into level three. You juggle off of that. Easy peasy, you know? Yeah, who who was it that said that uh, the best games are games where Ryu is top tier? <laughs> is that like a James Chenism or something? Maybe. Uh, I'm, not although, sure I, I'm not sure I agree with that one. Yeah, Ryu's yeah, not I'll that good in third strike, though, and that game's know? good, so I'm not sure. All right, we're getting into it. We, we already know what characters we're going to see. There's not too much mystery on character select screen. Yeah. Of course, Dawa Dawa always uh, doing the, the switch in. Yeah. For, for to character optimize select, character optimize. select. Because you start off on Ryu, right? I mean, it makes sense now that I see it. So he just picks Ryu, goes over to zero, and then uh, swaps him out at the character select. But uh, Buku actually taking the green color for Ryu, so uh, Dawa Dawa uh -oh. had to pivot to, to red zero to match the uh, white and red classic Ryu. Wow, these are high level tactics. You I know. Picking, picking the, the colors around your opponent as well, but. You're gonna take massive damage from. Look at this combo. Got the corner wow. extension. Yeah, it's a forced back roll. Get some oh, mixed up. Where did God. Zero's health go? My man is getting <laughs> slapped. Dear <laughs> Lord. Oh, and get the hit here. on Ryu too. Air to air. We don't care. This is Tekken Man Blade you're talking about. Oh, drop two unblockable though. Oh, baited the burst. He's trying to defend. He doesn't want any of these combos. He just doesn't even need them. Yeah, I mean, one hit is uh, doing quite a bit against Zero, so maybe it doesn't matter so much. Zero in chip range now. Yeah. Oh, gets hit with just a stand light. Oh, cross up. <laughs> the cross up hitting. It looks uh, like no one, no one is ready for the cross up today. You know, obviously online is a factor. Uh, reactions are a little bit harder in the online environment, but yeah, there we go. I mean, that move's not that. Right. You can see it. Yeah, I mean, I obviously I would block it if I were playing right now, but if I, yeah, if I, I, I blocked that like I, I would say 100% of the time. <laughs> never, <laughs> never been hit by it once. I've never been hit by it in my life. One thing, uh, while 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 I'm uh, nitpicking, one one thing I do kind of wish Ryu had in this game is I wish he had a Tatsu that like fell with gravity. Imagine how OP like because in in Marvel 2 and Marvel 3 he can like jump up with a button and then use Tatsu to like come back down. It is cool, but the, the counterpoint there is that he has the TK Tatsu that uh, keeps you grounded for the full four hits and you get a combo on right? Yeah, that is pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, we got Dawa getting off to a better start here. Though. All the way to the corner here. Mm. Build a bunch of meter. Doesn't finish the combo, but it's okay. That's the point where you drop and go for a reset anyways. Yeah, clean 50% here on Tekka Blade. Lots of meter built for Dawa Dawa as well. Nice conversion, though. Oh, the burst bait! Not getting anything off it, though. Yeah, it seems like uh, <laughs> Buku is, like, really, really cognizant of when his opponent has burst. Maybe too, too long of an extent. Like, he's, he's baiting bursts in situations where he doesn't need to, but... Yeah, okay, has to force the burst there. Oh, land the Right hit. here? Like, did, did I not just jinx it? Yeah, you did. You called that one. Takes out the Tekka Man Blade. It seems like what he really should be baiting is the Alpha Counter, because that's two rounds now where... Uh, Link's very nice. He got this. Into the wall bounce. Yup. <laughs> Look at this combo. I love right, that. So you're going to have to chase the roll, which he does very mm, effectively. Very nice. Donkey kick block. Woo! Sure, you can. A good block on the DP Baroque. Good awareness. Yeah. I almost and, called uh, it DP FADC. <laughs> DP FADC. But this actually came first. I can't believe it. All right, so Dao Dao taking a, a convincing game of his own there. Buku, yeah, a couple a couple strange decisions, but uh, Dao Dao ties it up. You know, maybe we'll get yet another close set. It's happening. Hey, hey, who knows? It could happen. Yeah, again, these two have been having really close sets lately, both at uh, Frosty Fouting, Sloggy Nights, everything like that. Really, really evenly matched. Two of our best players right now, so it's great to see them in the Grand Finals here. All right, trying the zero runaway, charging up the buster. Nice, meeting him air to air. But Tekka Blade with the, the mash move. Good 
Okay, we should just like call it Swiss cheese. We should just call it Swiss cheese. Yeah, Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese. Damn it. Let's call it Swiss cheese. Oh yeah, well, I, I think it's funny. Isn't isn't Swiss cheese? Did they say that it was like an actual nerf to Wolverine? They gave him that move to actually make him worse. To, yeah, to stop people from being able to just match. Like. Yeah, because <laughs> it was too good. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he gets another hit here. Takes to the corner. Boop, not bursting this. I mean, okay. Oh, misses the timing for the back roll. Gets the OTG on accident. This is something that uh, has really impressed me about Dawa Dawa is that he's not just always being aggressive. He's not always trying to just force mix-ups all the time. He's content just going back to neutral. Zero has really good projectiles. You don't always have to be the aggressor. You can make the opponent come to you. Yeah, no, I totally agree. He's a Zero player who really, I mean, not only is like comfortable with it, really likes going back and just playing his own game. We saw him in the other games in situations where he could have had like back roll into, into mix up. He just knocks down, goes full screen, starts shooting busters. Yeah, and activating Sagenmu to make it even more potent. Nice alpha counter though. This could have been bad, but a little drop there. Oh, there's the unblockable too. Yeah, first. Forced out of Buku here. Dava Dava will be very dominant in this neutral. You gotta push block early against Zero or else you just get unblockable these days. Is he just whiffing DPs to build meat? <laughs> I respect <laughs> it. Kinda looks like it. Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh wow. He's trying to press something on the way down, but Zero's buttons are too strong. I feel like you really have to burst this Buku. Maybe he was waiting to see if there was a drop. There's the Baroque. Waiting to see if there's gonna be a Baroque Buku. Is this gonna keep going? I think, yeah, it drops. It actually drops. The hitstone scaling was too high. I was starting to think. Uh, let's the Ryu die, though. Yeah, here comes, ooh, <laughs> double taunt. The taunts? No, yeah. He recovers on the ground. Especially, I think the uh, the push block actually makes him recover faster. I think it's one of those. Oh. Five meters on deck for Dawa Dawa. I mean, this is, uh... Uh, a tall hill to climb, let's just say. Yeah, has to use the bird there. Good block on the cross up, wow. I mean, obviously, either of us would have blocked it. Uh, yeah, I mean, but... easily. <laughs> but we're still impressed that Dawa Dawa was able to Oh, no. That. Man, these alpha counters are really dictating so much of this match. <laughs> Zero. Ryu's facing the wrong way, doesn't realize his life is about to end, but Zero comes in, saves the day with a nice DP. Yeah, so a reminder that uh, Dawa Dawa is on loser's side. So if he wins this next mm. game, he is going to reset back to a 0-0 yes. zero, zero situation. This would be a bracket reset. Dawa Dawa now up 2-1 in the set. Buku going to have to win these two to, to stop Dawa Dawa in his tracks. But Dawa Dawa is looking very strong in this neutral against Tekka Blade. Oh, look at that falling light. <laughs> So, you know, he's not going to get an insane amount of damage here, but the meter build is important. The setup here. Yeah, sets him back up into it. And that's one of the nice things about Zero. He went for kind of a fancy combo to try and bring to the corner. It dropped, but he just kept pressing buttons, and all of a sudden, it's a setup, you know? Ooh, Buku burned a huge amount of red life here on the Baroque, so that Ooh, might wow. limit his comeback potential a little bit. He couldn't quite get out of the way in time. I think he was trying to get over Zero to dodge those beams, because you can punish behind him afterwards. So, so we actually did see this triple DHC come back to bite Dawa Dawa a bit earlier. Now he's not yeah, going to have any near. Does not have burst. And Buku has a respectable amount of Baroque, so I could definitely see Zero getting one touched here. Yeah, if Zero gets touched here with a uh, with like a real combo, this should be a one touch from Blade. He can pop that Baroque. Uh, he should be able to kill before. Well, now it's getting a little close. Yeah, Dawa Dawa uh, building first the meter. Oh! Yeah. Oh, and the crossover counter faded. Yeah, first time we've seen that blocked all day, I think. Mm -hmm. Gets the relaunch. Gonna get the forced roll. There it is. That's nice time deep people roll. Always an option. This is not so bad for Buku because... Oh, it's doable. It's doable yeah, no, either way. No burst available for Dawa Dawa. Zero could die real fast. Hit quickly here. Ooh, nice use of the buster Dang. shot. And the cross up. Buku is playing out of his mind right now. I mean, Dawa Dawa is. Apologies. Oh. Oh. Ah. Are we going to get Chippos? No. Oh, no. Zero Pixel Health gets out. He's going to be regenerating red light. 
Mookie does not have meter to burst, and the bracket has been reset. That is such a demoralizing raw tag, you know? You work so hard trying to yeah. kill Zero, and then he just kills your Ryu and raw probably, tags and everything. Probably should have had that Zero there, but, uh, you know... That's how it goes. We're starting back over 0-0, zero, zero, both of them now in loser's bracket. Yeah, he went really hard for the chip kill there, but you know, this is the, the type of situation where you just have to be able to shake it off. Just act like nothing happened and this is a brand new set. Just got to start fresh here. Nice Baroque pressure. Ooh, little drop there. Ooh, cross up. Nice. It is Forces really big. Yeah, forcing that first burst is really huge because once again i think this is one touch situation if buku can get a hit but that, that was neutral he's been so slippery he's been so hard to catch yeah. oh, oh, oh how God, is he still going, going? and it gets another up. combo come on okay i can't believe he was able to keep that combo going as long as he did on zero. Oh, the double overhead hit yeah, the combo conversion ability for Blade is just off the chart. And this is also one-touch situation. Yep, huge amount of red, oh, no oh burst. Geez, not even Woo. close. He had plenty more combo left in the tank there. Second man, Blade was living his best life in that round, just landing hits all day, no problem. Forcing burst every time he got two meters, he just had to burst them away. That was an ideal round, but yeah, Buku, Buku trying to momentum. Buku trying to prove that that uh, bracket reset was just a fluke, right? Yeah, the first the first five games are just data. data. Oh, there's the falling <laughs> yeah, heavy. Oh, no. I feel like Dawa Dawa may be getting a little overly aggressive here. Attempts the unblockable. Yeah, hit, actually hit it, but went for two of the... One one thing that is not great about Tekken Man Blade is light. Is like, don't get yeah. far. So when he hit two of the crouching lights there, the second one was not in there. Yeah, I feel like if you look at the way Dawa Dawa is playing right now, he, he is not content to play neutral. He is really just trying to get damage right now, which is making him a little bit predictable. I think Buku uh, is able to cut off these angles very effectively. Throwing out these daggers. Oh, oh yeah, there and it the is. Hard point. Rogue doesn't finish the combo. Right, trying to navigate the screen here, but this is a tough situation for Dawa Dawa. Oh, wait! <laughs> the autocorrect crossover counter. Woo. Nice block on the falling light there. Buku with an interesting wait, burst time. Wait a minute! Wait Both a minute. bursts are gone now. Both bursts are gone. Okay, but Zero's gone as well. <laughs> okay. And all that red life is about to be gone. That's tough. Great block, though, on the, the fake cross. Up and tries to go for the unblockable. Stays in the front. Hits Ryu. And Buku goes up 2-0. Match point, Buku, already? Yeah, already. After that. I feel like that bracket reset just happened. Dawa Dawa's Dawa got to fix, uh, fix something here quick. Yeah, Buku looking like a new man. Te Tekka Blade, I feel like something has changed with Dawa Dawa's approach. It, it, it just seems like he's playing with a little bit of desperation here. He's trying too hard. It's kind of like, you know, if you want to be friends with a cat, you, you like can't try too hard. They sense the fact that you want their affection. You got to let them come to you a little bit. And I think that's what Dawa Dawa has to do. Oh my gosh, slashing the dagger. Yeah, I like this a lot better. You know, he's playing lame. He's he's utilizing the buster shots. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. Wow. Gets the open up. Yeah, so hard to block that. Woo! He actually blocked the cross up overhead. Didn't block the low afterwards, though. Oh, nice my push gosh. With punish. gonna be big baroque damage All no the burst. Way into the corner he's building no meter on this as well of course, back roll oh, goes low up goes low and the cross up to insult to injury that would that was saying I'm not going down easy oh the pizza cutter just the last hit I think before he touches the ground Woo! fanciness Fanciness! Got those links. Let's go. Corner that carry. lets him hurry all the way to the corner so he actually gets the relaunch here. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I guess he does. Never mind. Burns the Baroque. This is so much meter for Dawa Dawa. I mean, you gotta land like 15 hits. Yeah, this is, uh, this is an uphill climb for Buku. 
Nice block. There's Ooh, the cross. cross like, no. All right, there's one hit, but unfortunately, now you're the one getting comboed. Mm -hmm. Your yeah, first that's why mistake. I always say to people, like, in this game, I know it feels bad, but if you're in the corner, you got a free hit, and you're back to the corner, maybe just consider getting out. Yeah. Instead, you know? Uh, yeah, your punishment uh, you for that. I'm sorry, you've landed a combo, which means it's now your turn to get comboed. <laughs> to get comboed. When he does yeah. a combo and it leads into the other combo, but it's not combo, doing a combo. Not a combo. <laughs> Another combo. All right, this is still match point for Buku, but I know that Dawa Dawa wants to take this to game five. He wants to put on the show, but this oh. is going to be some big Damahe. Oh, look at the Baroque, too. Yeah, it doesn't. I think he might have been trying for the reset there and unblockable, but does get the combo. Already like a clean 60% on Rave. On zero. Yeah, but he is down a burst. A huge amount of red on Zero. This could turn around really quickly if Zero gets yeah, a clean oh, hit. Absolutely. And oh, that. Oh, oh, there oh, it is. Oh, oh. Baroque. Yep, there it is. I don't think he's going to be able to kill Blade, but I've been wrong before. He does have level 3, actually, as well. I mean, he oh, can kill God. if he wants. Good meter list. Oh, oh almost <laughs> drops the combo! Oh, that's the burst himself. He wanted the burst, mate. He wanted it. No mm -hmm, rock back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is fairly even. I mean, okay, not anymore now that Zero's getting a hit. This could be problematic. That was a very intense oh, stare down. Up. Of course, it's the burst. Zero meters left on Buku's side now. Yeah, no meter, and Dawa Dawa has burst. This is gonna be tough. I think oh, we're gonna see game five. The teleport. Him up. Gets the link. This should be game. I mean, you could have just done level that three. Was, that was supposed that. to be level three, right? I mean, that's uh, they're both DP inputs. You must have just not hit the buttons at the same time. All well, right, game five. Closes it out regardless. Dawa Dawa, bringing it to 2-2, game five. What else would we want to see, right? Grand finals, reset, game five, double Luigi. This is for all the marbles. We're going all the way to the end here. All the cookies are on the line. Buku versus Dawa Dawa. Tekaman Blade versus Zero. Classic matchups. Yeah, we can see the aggression from Buku. He does not want to let Dawa Dawa get room to breathe, but Dawa Dawa turning it around on him. Gets the nice plunge. I still think he's pretty far to make it to the corner. Is he making it all the way to the corner? No. A little far for the buster shot to hit there. <laughs> Buku just trying to escape. Nice reversal throw. I like Buku using air backdash just to get some breathing room. Oh, that looks scary <laughs> on the fifth cluster, but... Oh, man. Oh, it looks like he keeps trying to bait those bursts. But at the end of the day, maybe you should just do your combo and force them to burst. I think we're going to see a dead blade. This is looking quite bad for Buku. <laughs> you got to yeah. hold this mix. Good block. Good push block as well. Gets out of the corner. Gets all the way out of the corner. Very right, scary. He's out of the pressure there for now. Gets the TP. Gonna have to fight his way through a burst here. Ooh, the oh no! Clip your toes. Now you got no burst. Oh, oh slow again. Forces the burst. This is looking more and more doable. If he can get through this last burst, maybe he can make a fat baroque happen. Now watch the unblockable though. Okay, oh, no, tried. just keep the pressure. I think the push block messed it up. Oh, oh yeah. It's opened up. Yeah, I think this should be enough. Is he gonna get to burst first though? It doesn't I think this look like it needs to level three. three. Why are you scaring me like this? That was that one! Oh, oh he finishes it with the OTG. Wanted to make it look nice and clean, right? On the this, very this is last, last hit. hit. Man, you know, Buku, he had a lot of momentum in those first two games, but I think Dawa Dawa made the exact adjustment that we needed to see. You know, he he played nice and patient. He utilized the projectiles. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, the solid execution got him there. Very well played. Yeah, absolutely. Great games to both of those two. A really amazing set to close out. Like a really good tournament here. Uh, thanks right now, first off, to everybody who played in it. I really appreciate people coming through playing Tatsunoko versus Capcom. We get to see new stuff every time. It's awesome. Yeah, even though the, the game is, uh, oh, it's like 
13 years, 14 years old. Oh God, I'm turning to dust. Even though the game is old, <laughs> people are still finding new stuff. So yeah. uh, very yeah. impressive. Yeah. Yeah, so shout out to them. Thank you, everybody who came through. And also, I wanted to give a shout out to um, especially uh, Killer Orcas and Matchstick Melee for contributing into the match arena. We made it to $100. Thank you. Hey, hey we did it. Uh, so thank you to you guys. Thank you, of mm, course, mm. to my co-commentator, JM Crofts. Uh, thank you to Matchstick Melee also for doing the stream. Thank you to Obi-Wan for mm. running the brackets. Um, I wouldn't be able to do it without all these people. It's a huge help. I hope everyone enjoyed the tournament. Uh, Matt, if you want to take us out, that's all I have for you. Oh, sure. Uh, big thanks to our commentators today and uh, tournament organizer, of course, uh, Dr. Science and JM Crofts. Uh, giving you the quality TVC content as always. Uh, make sure to uh, find out who's got the stream for Combo Breaker for Tatsunoko and all the other side tournaments. And uh, just keep keep an eye on those folks. Make sure to cheer hard for them when, when they get there. Uh, outside of that, uh, if you liked what you saw today, we do FGC stuff, what, three times a week? We're back with Street Fighter again now that we have our, our official Capcom license. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, Mondays uh, 9 p.m. Eastern for Street Fighter. Uh, Wednesdays 9 p.m. for uh, Guilty Gear Strive. Uh, still alternating between PS4 and, or sorry, between PSN and PC on the uh, alternating weeks. And then of course Thursday night is Grand Blue Fantasy Versus uh, on PC, um, which is surprisingly proving to be. An incredibly like stacked and popular event. Uh, we had 32 people for our for our bracket on uh, Thursday, and uh, it was nuts. Like you've never seen like this fiercer competition for this dead game. Uh, so uh, uh, come join us for those, and of course keep an eye out for us when we do extra special stuff like this or uh, you know the big locals that kind of thing too. But uh, yeah, maybe drop a follow. Uh, definitely go follow these two guys over here. Uh, Doc and Doc and Crofts both have their own Twitch and YouTubes, respectively. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Just keep enjoying what we do, eh? But See yeah. you guys next time. See you guys next time. Have Thank a great you, rest of your Sunday or wherever it happens to be. <laughs> Bye. Hey, where you live. Yep. <laughs>